All right, and we are back with the first of the Reflex Arena Test Cup series, and maybe not the last, who knows? Only Blazo. And I believe we are going to spectate the second map of Messick versus Swatlana. Unless we get another better idea going from our producer. Oh, and uh... Oh, that looks way nicer. There we go. Easy 60 frames. Alright, and then I'm, I'm gonna pack a bowl. And how are you fine folks doing this evening? Alright, we got uh, Messick and Swat choosing their second map. This is going to be a best of three, and looks like they're choosing HDM14, which is a dual map I have not seen before. Sure to vote yes. I have no clue why spectators still have to vote yes. It's pretty cool. And thanks for the prime, Crazy Cat. All right, let's see what we're working with on HDM14. Nice untextured map. We all love the dev gray filter. Oh, fuck. Sixteen viewers and twenty-one signups. Hey, what's up, Rekor? Where's Mega? <laughs> Where is Mega? We're gonna look for it. Mm. Cthulhu wants to play. I don't know where Mega is. Alright, let's get into it. Four, 
map two of Messick versus Swat Llama. And also, if you guys want music in the background during the games, I'm totally fine with that. In fact, I would rather have it than this. So let me know if that's okay with you. Messick grabs the first red, Rocket jumps out of there, and takes a teleporter. Grabs LG. Looks like this tele goes right in front of a yellow spawn, and quick LG battle, and they retreat. Messick has got the Golden Trinity, or Holy Trinity, what the fuck did I just say? Oh, Messick is getting low, he picks up shards. Nice rail on the SWAT and he's screaming. The egg bot has been slain right in front of Red and Messick's going to collect that. And jump right out again, oh! They're going to kill each other. Mortal Kombat soundtrack? Hmm. Tempting. I need to turn up this microphone, brother. No filters applied. I'm still fucking quiet. Wait, I'm just gonna boost my soul. Filter. Gain. Test, test. Test, test, test. Okay, that's probably better. Da, 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 da. All right, it's Breaky CPK. Thank you. And second map is looking good so far for Messick again. Again, Messick probably one of the favorites fan favorites for this tournament. Uh, quite a young player. I think he's only 19 at this point. Um, going to the old university until COVID hit. He was a dirty bomb player and then moved on to Diabotical before that shit died. But also, uh, obviously, a long time reflex player. Not sure when he started, maybe 2016 or 2015. But uh, yeah. One of the most talented dual players in Reflex for sure. Yeah, excited to see him play. And he's just running a train right now on this map, getting good spawn for X. <laughs> nice one right there. Messick gonna collect the yellow and go into the telly right behind SWAT. Now Messick's just gonna hide out in this room for a minute and see if he comes in. Oh, he misses his last rail. Mm, oh, he eats a spawn, uh, a spam rocket, and then another one. And second kill for Llama. 13 2, with almost 7 minutes remaining. The plasma spam coming from Messick, but SWAT has the LG, makes quick work of him. Yes. Oh, 5 HP kill from Llama. And I'm going to stop casting to finish packing this. A is D E A. One of the most well-known Finnish players. Besides LKO, of course. Wait, this guy's a Norwegian. Same fucking difference. Alright, and both players are sweating intensely. Messick really wants to collect that pizza money. Ooh, that would have been a nice rail. He gets the fade away. Oh, he shoots a spam rocket in the wrong position, but Llama with some obvious movement, and he's really trapped in that corner right there. Just eats the LG. 17-4, Messick. And another death coming for Llama. 6 HP on Messick, though. He can take him out. If he hits him with a burst gun or something. Messick gonna be looking for that fucking mega. He picks up the two 25 HPs. 
And he hears the Mega get taken by the Llama. Grabs the one yellow. And he's running towards red. Gets it for free and also a full direct on Llama. That was a nice spam rocket. Oh, I gotta grab some water after this. I should probably turn the game audio up a bit. Sorry about the uh, interruption. I wouldn't want this wonderful game audio to be held from you. Alright, Messick is up by almost 15 and he picks up both the Mega and the Red. Four minutes remain. He runs right into Llama with his LG out. Not really what you want to be holding right into someone. Oh, a nice flick rocket. That was pretty sick. And he runs for the yellow, gets a quick, easy kill on his 100 HP opponent. Oh, he's trapped, but his opponent got the mega. Or, not his opponent. And Messick just disengages with that. Nice tracking, though, for Messick. Twenty two six Messick, three minutes remain for one of the favorites here. I know we also have uh, Sharkosity signed up and Ramagon, who has been called the greatest reflex player of all time. By uh Wow, three direct nades, but sweat <laughs> Messick gets them, not sweat. Nice nades from Llama. He gave it a really good effort, but you're when you get seated first against Messick, that's a uh, feels bad man moment. Spams that. Not letting him in to the red room. And SWAT tries to camp Mega, gets a fucking rocket to the face. Now Messick's just saying, come at me, bro. Two minutes remain. That's true, crazy. And even though Messick has been um, grinding Diabotical for months, he still looks, you know, almost as good as ever. Like, he's got great movement in a game which has, you know, very different movement from Diabotical. I mean, he's tracking his own points, he's got good rockets, seems very strong. Alright, we got one yes vote and one no vote. Nice rail and LG combo from Llama. And he's gonna... Nope, not gonna trade the kill. Oh, Messick will trade the kill. Whatever. <laughs> this is Splash. I wonder if Messick has played this map before. I honestly can't tell. It seems as if... He may have, but I'm not sure. And he's going to end the map probably around with a 25 frag lead. Not bad. It's not like he got 80 to 0 Respectable score from our man Swat Llama. And let me check what our host is saying. And this best of three is going to go to Messick. The first um, played best of three, as I think Cthulhu uh, D 
DQ'd himself for a forfeited. And GG to Messick and SWAT. 34 7. 15 red, 17 yellows collected by Messick. 6 and 4 for SWAT. 30. Mm, that's really good IG or LG right there. 37%. And really good bolt for 12, 12 out of 24. Like, my god, this kid has such great aim. It's crazy. Messick is nuts. GG to Messick and um, SWAT. Uh, yeah, people switch to melee weapons in this game for the same reason. Mm, not the same reason as they do in CS, but it's just force of habit, really. Like, just people tapping one or Z or whatever they have it bounced to. And just, like, hitting the ground. It's just like a... Like, stimming yourself, basically. Yeah, or DEA put it better. I played CS before the Inspector Key was invented, so... Sunglasses. Look, looks like we got Honky Reduction, aka White Woman Extinction Button. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, if you ever watched StarCraft Breed War, or, or StarCraft 2, you'll see players like, um, like moving with their mouse, like selecting their workers over and over again. And like, like moving their camera around by tapping keys. Like it's literally just, just spamming, stimulating yourself. Okay, I'm not sure... I'm not sure who Honky Reduction is. Yeah, I only played two seasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, players spam at the beginning in StarCraft to keep their hands warm for when their APM actually needs to be fast. So is better at StarCraft than me. Yeah, there you go. Your hands need to be warmed up for when you're going to be doing shit. Alright, I guess Honky Reduction is Honky Reduction on the challenge. And that is the next match we'll be spectating. Messick versus Honky Reduction. Still might find me in a mosh pit, and I still ain't even corporate. 
walked in with who I work with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. run up on you while you jogging. Make you listen to my walk, man. Make safe uh, shit streams never seen. Make a whole yeah. boat sing. Listen, bitch. Watch all the hosts pay attention when I walk in. Yeah. Stroll in like an old man. Yeah. Like a pot, like foes in. Yeah. Niggas acting like close friends. Yeah. Fam, don't even know, man. No. Tell the kids I'm, I'm a grown man. man. Pop two steps, slow dance. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, jokes uh, uptown. Harlem world. New York like I'm pop smoke. Ride around in the drive rows. Watching rats in the pot roast. Finger polish with the top coat. Oh. The bottom plan up on the top go. Oh. Bling, bling, that's a barcode. Ring, ring, that's a smartphone. Beep, beep. Do your heart go? Slow tie, hear your park go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a leak. When I'm pulling up, muddy dungarees. Hey, make the place look like a mother scene. Hey, when I make moves, I'm a money fiend. Yo, how do you actually open, um, I can't open my fucking console. Like, I'm hitting tilde. Yeah, tilde's not working. That's what I've been trying. Um, let's see who else is playing. I think we were going to watch Messick's next map, but... Or wait, Messick already won his map. They're both maps. Um, we got Janky. Izormer's playing Duck right now. So, yeah, let's watch Izormer and Duck on Pocket Infinity. Lockdown. Does anyone know um, if Izormer has gone by another name, by the way? Because I don't know who this is. Also, a shark, tell me how to bind a key to mute the game. Oh fuck, I'm on the wrong scene. There we go. And his armor is up by f Holy fuck, Duck has fragged himself two times. That's unfortunate. Shoutouts to Duck for uh, giving me some bass guitar tips. And I just realized I'm way too loud on this scene, I'm sorry. Bind key is falling. Okay, I'm on a 10 keyless keyboard. Oh, there we go. Cheers, mate. Oh my god. Okay, that's not... Sorry about that. Zormer is like the original Cthulhu. What, a plus forward player or a young player? A trunk player? Oh, we all love Cthulhu. Except when he has stupid political opinions. <laughs> that rocket, dude. Okay, is Zormer gonna pick up the orange, get some 50 HP? Damage himself for this yellow to deny that. And he sees the Mega is up, but he's chasing instead of grabbing Mega. I really like this. And he has a rail out close range. What a Chad. He sees that the red is up, but he doesn't care. His opponents just spawned. He's gonna fuck him and grab the red. Nice. Mega is up in a miss rocket from Duck. And locked on from his armor. No armor for Duck. And Duck is trapped in the lava. Oh, he frags himself a third time. You hate to see it, man. A nice rail. That was a millimeter of space he had to hit that fucking. And now that tracing is going to be so easy with him moving in that direction from red. He gets a lot of damage on Duck. But equal stacks right now. Clockwork. Not anymore. Zormer picks up the Mega and hits a direct rocket for spam. On to Duck. Ha! <laughs> Holy shit! Nice! Yeah, this guy's a player. I mean, he doesn't give a shit about, like, red spawning. He just is going for his frags, which is smart. 
and he's gonna rush the yellow where Duck has spawned. He gets that yellow and a shit ton of damage on Duck and this frag should be free. But free is not always free and the LG is gonna finish it off. Luckily not the lava for Duck. This will probably be a much higher frag game. Oops, spam rocket takes uh, Zormer out. And close range from Duck. Two in a row for him. Grabs the Mega and the Yellow off of that. So, a little bit of in control play. Duck is going to chase, which he should do. Should take out the LG here. And he's still chasing. Uh, you can tell Duck's movement is lacking, to say the least, right now. He just pulled out his melee and meleeed the wall. I thought Mega was up there and he was just not seeing it, but it wasn't. Duck tries to go for the air. His armor collects the Mega and then pushes against him at the upper yellow, gets the frag. His armor collects the lower yellow, and I think he also got the upper one as well. And Duck is dead in the water here. Quack, quack. His armor with a perfectly timed spam rocket. I mean, it's not an impressive path to spam, but damn. Good timing, and they hit perfectly. Two quick frags for his armor. He knows that Duck is in red room. Duck gets the lower yellow and fight between LG and Rocket. Gonna be a frag for Zormer again. 27 to negative one. Oh, he kills himself and he kills Duck. <laughs> the first suicide from the Zormer. And Duck goes from minus three to negative one and that should... Wait. Oh, I had a better wrong pop. I'm so dumb. Nice. Is so even playing? I think so was... I don't think so was signed up when I looked, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm hoping we get uh, we get some good close games to uh, spectate at some point. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water after this one, so stay tuned. And uh, make sure you spam the Twitch everywhere, Quake related, or you're not doing your job for the reflex. Yeah, Zormer is a lot of fun to watch. I'm glad you suggested. Messick is a very good player, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it can seem clinical watching him run the cycle and just. Yeah, you know. Gets the lower yellow, direct rocket takes him out. And yeah, shutout game. Death Storm. Wait, wrong button. Shout out to Duck for teaching me some of the bass guitar. All right, Duck gonna collect top yellow, and his warmer will hear it. His warmer kind of set up a trap there. I'm pretty sure he was just sitting at the bottom of the stairs. And as Zormer gets the Mega, ooh, Spam Rocket's taken out and on to Duck, who needs to get 30 frags in about 55 seconds to win this game. Not sure it's going to happen, frankly. <laughs> yeah, Zormer is uh, quite the plus forward player. Oh, if he had had a rail, he could have got that. Nice Rocket, though. A direct. Oh, and if anyone wants to co-cast, let me know. And some rumors saying that Ramagon may not show. That is sad. Alright, 
GG to Izormer and Duck, the bass guitar player, versus uh, the Lego man here. Looks like America beats Canada. Alright, Dev versus Azormer would be a good match. Then that is the match we'll probably watch. Match begins in five, four, three, two, one, five. Alright, I'm gonna leave this open while I grab water as I'm the only person um doing this stream shit. Be right back. And welcome back to the Reflex Arena Test Cup, hosted by Blazo, and streamed and cast by me, Solo Dive. And we're back into it um, with his armor and duck, as I just said. The Canadian versus the American, and we have a 9 frag lead for Zorma right now, who collects the red in- That was a sick fucking midair. Oh my goodness. Nice fucking shot. You'll love to see it. There's warmers playing duck hunt, it seems. Yeah, I've never seen this guy play, but it, it's fun. Oh, nice uh, rocket splash is gonna finish up the kill. He... Mm, duck spawned next to red and then went to push, and I don't know about that. I'm not sure why he would do that, but he's gonna lose a frag off of it. But the spawn, off the spawn, he gets a kill onto Zormer. Zormer picks up Mega, and Duck has 10 HP here. Why is he peeking? He really wants the red, but it's not even there. Oh, Plasma, gonna finish off Duck. And Zormer chilling in Red Room, gonna strafe down, take the bottom telly, lower telly though, whatever you wanna call it. 
LG versus Rockets. Gets better damage onto Duck. And yep, that's a Soda Can. Nice damage onto him with a rail. And he's gonna collect Mega. Oh yeah, our team did time a 19 Plague Fall. Pretty impressive for a Mythic Plus team that doesn't even have five people. Really excited to hear what comes out of those guys. And his armor is just chaining the frags up. He's not sure when red is up, but it's certainly not right now. Duck coming up the staircase. The rockets from Zormer miss, and it's going to be a rail versus LG fight. Nothing hits. No connects, but Zormer saw that mega spawn. He doesn't go for mega. He just wants to get the rail shot. And Duck keeps pushing. 10 HP on Zormer. And Duck is going to collect the mega that Zormer opted out of. Azormer takes the yellow, and his sec is pretty good after getting the orange HP, 50 right there. He's gonna glide into red room with the stair jump. And a close range fight puts him right in the air for Azormer again! That's fucking beautiful! Another close range near the yellow. Zormer disengages, really good timing for him. He grabs the orange again, and he's gonna get both 25s, takes him to 156 stack. Duck really low right now. Zormer gets into the red room and destroys him. Just no stack there for Duck, and Duck's gonna get an unlucky spawn. Zormer heard him spawn in the red room just now, and he took the teleporter to get right where he's going, and he's dead again. He's just chaining him in. He sees him spawn there, Rocket jumps up to the yellow. The rocket smith. He doesn't connect on the frag. And red room stairs. His armor is going to finish him with the LG and collect the red. And he's going to keep on playing Duck Hunt. His armor is... They're good. I don't know, Rick. What do you want me to tell you, brother? His armor... Ah! Great... Audio sense from Izormer. He hears him make that jump up below red. He's a direct rocket on him. And now Duck is just running around. That was a fucking nice rocket. Nice shot. Uh, Duck collects red armor. Three minutes remaining on the clock. Oh, he gets red and <laughs> Mega, actually. Okay. Uh, Rook, the game is pretty dead, so, um, it's rare to see a tournament like this. But, it is really fun to spectate, I'll tell you that. Izormer gets the red. Sorry, it was taking a sip. Oh no! The jump pad spells death for Duck. Duck thought he was safe to take the jump pad, but eats the direct... Zormer is right below him. Zormer damages himself because he thought the yellow was up, but it comes up anyway, so he's safe. But he also loses the red doing that. Out of rockets for this close range fight, he switches to the grenade launcher and plasma, but Duck is the frag. And let's look a bit at his stats. Duck has gotten half of the reds of my man Zormer. Seven megas for, Zor for his armor, four for Duck. Uh, I forgot what the frag difference of, of last game was, but I, I'm pretty sure it was like a 20 frag difference, something like that. And he doesn't follow. Oh, he follows him late through the telly. His armor was waiting for it, but didn't want to wait that long. Direct rocket after the jump pad, but no stack on his armor spells death for that rocket. And this game will be over in a minute and five seconds. And we'll see both players just winding down here. Ah, 30 frag. That's, thank you, so. My memory isn't the greatest. In fact, my memory is below average. So, about the same frag difference we saw on um, HCM4. And Azormer has... 
he's gotten a pretty decent cycle going here, but just like Cthulhu, he is going for those frags over grabbing the red or the mega if he sees it up. He would rather get that kill, as anyone should do. Yeah. Oh, that was on Pocket Infinity, sorry, you're right. Yeah, last map was Pocket Infinity, and we were watching Messick play SWAT on HDM14. Thanks for the correction. And now unbuttoning my shirt to apply deodorant. Five seconds. And final score, 29. To six, excuse me. All right, and let me check the brackets. Nice little graphic here. Thanks, Skytune. Need to ask that guy to cast. Someone ping Skytune and tell him to cast. He should be home by now. Okay, I am checking the bracket. Let's see. Sharkosity went over Cthulhu, who was a forfeit. Sharkosity beat Mira, 7856. Hooligan has 2 0 DTG. George. Janky Goat Smuggler. Shark. Okay, wait. Zormer versus Death. Yep, okay, Zormer versus Death is my next Yes, it's Death. Alright, let me pop on a tune. And Zormer versus Dev should be the next spectate. Uh, shout out to Dylan Baldy. Alright, we got both um, Izormer and Dev in the server. Just waiting for a duck to leave the slot and for both players to ready up.
both players picking maps, rolling the uh, dice right now. Shout out to Demir, Demir the man. Yes, it's DP5. Uh, they are playing on CR2, the European rule set. I'm not sure why Blazer chose CR2, but that's what we are playing. Or that's what the players are playing. And we get to watch Furnace, aka DP5. Yep. Is Warmer versus Dev supposed to be a good match? I am familiar with Dev. I just started watching his Warmer. Let's get into it. First Mega went to Dev, I think, and his warmer is going to get the first red. And he makes the triple jump to get out of the red room, which is a trap. If you're not familiar with uh, the term red armor, that's the, uh, the item that gives you 100 armor. It's really good to get. His warmer disengages, but Good spam rockets from Dev. Takes him down to 45. Oh, Dev heard him coming. Gets the first frag, a rail. And good timing from Dev. Picks up that red. Oh, his armor was going for that yellow. He really wanted it. That's pretty bad. Oh, Dev knocks him up for two good rockets, but the rockets from his armor are better. And only Plasma in his armor's hands, he's going to try to do as much damage as he can while... Oh! 
and we see kills traded. Three to one, Dove. He goes through the teleporter, runs into him, another direct! Whew. You heard him take the tele, and he... Wow. That pre-aim was perfect, but the rocket just... Did not hit because he backed up. And Dev gets the LG kill onto Exormer. Oh my goodness! Another perfectly pre-aimed rocket. Doesn't get the kill, but he gets knocked up with LG while going for the yellow. Zormer takes the frag and that other yellow. Rocket spam down onto the lower level. And red room, Dev gets the shotgun kill from close range, also collecting the red. And he's getting a bit chased down, but his stack is looking really good. He takes a triple jump up to make damage. Oh my goodness. And he's chasing the fuck out of his armor. Gets the frag. Picks up the ledge yellow. And wow. If that would have hit. Oh, knocks him around. Comes through the telly and gets murked. 7-3 for Dev. And another trade kill. Red goes to Dev after the trade. Ooh, nice. Oh no, <laughs> this armor kills himself. Uh. Takes Mega and they're dancing between the portals. A direct onto Dev is gonna take him low. They probably share a stack just about, yep. Oh, Dev has him in the worst possible place his armor could be and he's gonna die. I read something wrong. Doesn't matter. Nice kill. Gets that yellow. And gets the ledge yellow as well. He's lacking on HP. Red's coming up in four. Oh, he picks up the red, but he still hasn't gotten any HP. He gets the mega. That'll make him happy. Self damages to collect this yellow, but he is early by about 5 seconds, gonna pick it up. Dev comes through the portal, close rockets between both players, Dev goes back through, and Rail ends his life on the bottom level. Burst gun, and another trade kill, wow. 8-8, eight to eight. they've tied it up, he gets the red, but he gives his life to get the red. And yeah, this is, we have a game on our hands. Dev gets the frag and the mega health. Gets some LG damage in and finishes off his armor, which will get him the red as well. Nice rocket jump from Dev, takes him up real high and trying to contest that ledge yellow but I think it was already taken. And now Zormer is gonna have a perfect trace onto Dev because he's going for that yellow. And one rocket here, oh, should have taken out Dev, but his armor's on very low HP as well. Holy goodness. A spam rocket into where that yellow should be, and Dev jumps up the triple after grabbing the red, gets the frag too. Nice. Oh, wow. Zormer drops, Dev getting some damage in, out of rockets, and he's gonna LG is Zormer into the abyss and 100 rocket onto his armor right after the spawn. A good, two good spam rockets. Gonna take a lot of damage. His armor picks up the mega. He's got a mm, equal stack to death now, and they're gonna have a close fight on this ledge yellow. Dev sees him peeking out from the left. And he's stuck in red room. He gets a good rocket off. His armor has secured the red, and he disengages. Wow. Oh, and now top yellow is up. Dev trying to keep him, doing as much damage as he can. He loses the yellow, and he has way less of a stack. Ow, oh, bad timing on the spot. Spam rockets through the telly. His armor gets the red spawn, and the red is spawned, which is nice for him. Clockwork. 
I keep forgetting that I have my camera set to auto switch to the killer. Like, I've never cast this game in my life, so give me a break. Oh my goodness. A literal one frame flick onto that yellow. That was nice. Alright, low LG arm ammo on his armor. Tries to spam through the bars into the mega room next to that teleporter. And most players just dancing around the teleporters right now, as is common on this map. Ooh, nice spam rocket. Is Ormer self damaging? Again, he does this self damage so that he can deny his opponent the yellow armor. If you're not familiar with Quake, the yellows. Yeah, Azormer is playing really tightly right now. And we have a really close game here. Dev versus Azormer. 13-13 with 3 minutes. And Red is spawning in 6 seconds. Both players pivoting towards that area. Azormer is already camping the room, but he takes so much LG damage! He went early, and he's going to give up the Red if Dev is going to take it. Dev takes the Red, and Azormer is left with... Fucking 4 HP. This is really scary for him. Oh no. Rail goes to Dev and he's in the lead one point. And he's gonna probably get a spawn frag onto him. Nope. He saw the mega up. He goes for the mega instead of the frag. And his armor had no HP. He just melts him with the lightning right there. And Dev is going to play a chase right here. I would have called it Duck Hunt, but Duck is not playing. Oof, this is intense. Oh, he's in the air. He's gonna pin him. That rocket nearly misses, narrowly even, and easy rockets. Zormer gets the red, trades his life for it. And Dev is up three with two minutes, up four now. And Dev is going to be feeling good about this. I was going to say he's not feeling good, but Zormer not feeling good about being down four suddenly after such a tied match. And Azormer's gonna jump right over him. Dev goes through the portal to avoid confrontation, waiting for Azormer to take the red. Does as much damage as possible with those spam rockets. And I think one rail in. Azormer takes the portal. LG versus rail. Dev's stack is so low, but he's. Mm, he was playing a very dangerous game. He kept fighting with that low HP. And we're on Azormer now, who is down three, but he can still take it back. He's got a little more than a minute to make it happen, and he is probably maybe going to be able to make it happen if he can get two frags. But he has a minute to get those two frags. He gets another one, takes it to 16-17, and he meets Dev right at that yellow ledge. The Mega goes to Dev, and his armor has no stack right now. He, oh my god! Dev gets the spam rocket kill. His armor needs to find him right now, and he does while he's going for the yellow, but Dev hits a direct. Oh, no. That might be the seal of fate right there. Just such good rockets from Dev. Great timing as well, and he's going to dance around the portal to avoid getting fragged. Dev, Dev is just going to be wanting to play the mouse in this cat-mouse game right now for another 15 seconds. And he's going to be able to close it out. Jesus. What a close first map and a great one at that. Wow. Seventeen, nineteen. Dev taking the first map, DP5, Furnace. And that was a really nice showcase from Dev. Very close to a comeback. All right, and on to a break. Stay tuned. back it's Azormer versus Dev and we are going to simplicity a more 
open map than Furnace, I would say. Also, two green armors on this map. And spawn fight. Not a spawn fight, but Dev takes the first frag. It's gonna let him choose which of these next two armors he probably wants to get. Actually, nope, Azormer gets in position for the red, so he's gonna get that. And leaves Dev in position to take the yellow. He sees Azormer take the upper teleporter. And now Dev grabs rocket ammo. Sees that the Mega is up, drops onto there. Smartly uses rockets instead of the jump pad to get back up, and now he knows that red should be spawning soon. And instead of going directly for red, he tries to get a read on his armor's position as well as get damage on him before it spawns, but it doesn't matter because Dev gets there first, grabs the red, and does a lot of damage to his armor, who will have to take his tail between his legs and collect a green or two, maybe a yellow, to get back in the fight. Nope, just takes the fight head on. All right, where's Sky Tune, dude? Alright, gonna take a spectating break to pack another bowl. As I do not possess a co-caster. One to one. Zormer narrowly escapes with the red. Nice movement. And Skytune is not casting. Do not know why. Disgusting. And one moment. Absolutely not. Not at all. Ooh. Gross LG. My throat is actually hurting, so. Um. 5 1. Dev. And thanks to the subs and followers so far. Janky and KCAT among a few others.
Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how you do come back and control on simplicity very easily. I mean, I guess the two greens helps with that, but... Two frags come in for Zormer. And he collects the Mega and another frag. Four to eight. Dev. And Red goes to Zormer. Zormer is looking good for a comeback and Dev takes the jump pad, but Zormer can't punish him for it. So instead, he'll do some self damage, grab the yellow, and angle towards the red room. He hits a direct, but his stack gets low as well. Now he knows exactly where Dev is. Get some LG damage. Uh, thanks for the follow, Flop House Cat. Oh no. Oh, that rocket sends him fucking flying. Dev takes the teleporter. Nice frag. Zorma tried to meme him. Nice mid air. A quick flick up. Gonna secure him another frag Three while Zormer tries to fly over his head unsuccessfully. Yep, yeah, I think you might be right, so, but you know, as the casters always say, there's always a game! It's always possible, dude. Dev just wants to run the cycle for three minutes now. Keep Zormer from doing damage and keep him from getting any items. But Dev tries to take a fight and falls his armor. But who does he even play against? I don't understand. I mean, it definitely is still possible for Zormer. It's a fucking reflex. Oh, Dev was so patient for that frag and he might have even known what Zormer's stack was. One little spam rocket kills him on the red and also allows him to take the red obviously. Dev gonna fight him up where he heard him spawn and locks down the yellow as well. He'll be able to cycle the red really easily now. And oh, that's the mega Zormer <laughs> tries the rocket jump. Oh no. Rocket jump attempt ends his life. Dev keeps running this cycle. Zormer. I tried to set up a noise gate. Oh. Yeah, Zormer played really well on Simplicity. Or, er, I'm sorry, Pocket Infinity. Sorry, my air conditioner. Cheers for the raid, or host message. And 1510 dev on pocket. <laughs> Simplicity, not pocket. And that's 2 0, I believe. of 2-0 over Xormer, e I'm sorry, and let me check the brackets. Bra 
brackets are being checked. Why am I being pinged on another Discord? Doesn't matter. And your next match will be... Challenge.com Alrighty, looks like Shark is in round four. And reported results. Do, do, do. Right, Dev moves on to play Messick in lower. Should be good game. And Puma is going to play the winner of Magus and Theoretical Spy. No clue who these people are. Um, George, which I believe is fucking, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know who George is. It's like a map maker. Shark. No, it's not Shark. Shark's already signed up. Uh, Shark playing Janky Goat Smuggler. That should be a good game. What should I spectate? Who should I spectate? Sorry. Yeah, good games, Messick. Twelve people, Singapore represent. Duck, Messick. Dev is playing two. Fuck off with this button. Fuck. <laughs> Make sure to buy um, reflex skins, everyone can go and press this button and you can buy some boxes for some epic skins. Alright, we're going to spectate Messik. Wait, how could Messik be playing? Oh, he's playing. And Honky Reduction, I believe, is a CPM player. Start this bowl. Seen Puma versus Sharkosity. Hopefully, that would be good. All right, don't forget to Twitch Prime. Map picking going underway.
I've jumped into message with the dev, which is going on two minutes now. Seven frags on the board. Eight frags on the board, sorry. Dev in the lead, surprisingly. Or, I mean, I don't really know Dev as a player, so I don't know if that's surprising, but Dev is going to take. Oh! Nice mid air. He gets the quick spawn frag. It's one rocket. Always love to see it. Messick with the frag or er, stack lead, but not anymore. Oh, a direct from Dev. Messick does a hasty retreat, but he comes right back. And oh no, yeah, Dev caught in a bad spot there. Wrong weapon out. Not sure if he was out of ammo, but we're back to Messick, who is going to secure a mega off the kill. Get a lot of damage onto Dev. They're both very low now. Dev on the run, and Messick is in the red room. Red has spawned, but he hears Dev, goes for the damage with the LG, and he's making, he doesn't want to take a lot of damage when he gets this red, and he manages to do just that. Nice direct from Dev. And he sees that the Mega is up, takes it. Messick heading to Red Room, but he stops to do damage to Dev. He can do free damage, and he's going to do it. Dev hears Messick coming up, tries to get the spam rocket. Messick jumps right over his fucking head with a rocket jump to attempt to make a spry big play. But he manages to take Dev down to 20. Oof. Dev, bad timing right there. He's murked. And Messick will secure a yellow and two frags off of that. It was a nice flick rocket from Messick. And Portal Dance is going to have to take place from Dev to live, but he can't live. He's getting fucked. He's dead. Messick didn't get the red there. Yeah, a little off. And he's gonna rocket up after getting Mega and Red. Does a lot of damage to Dev in the process. Picks up yellow, and he's running. A train on the item spawns on this map right now. Dev can't get a single thing. Luckily, two greens on this map. And Messick is fighting with his life for this red room. And he'll live with 5 HP. A direct rocket takes out Dev. Dev really needed and wanted to fight for that red. And, wow, Messick drops very low. Whew. Messick on the run. Oh, not a good trace. Out of range, Dev does get the kill. That's good, he really needed that. He hears Messick above him, takes the jump pad, and Messick should be going to red room now. Yep, he gets red. Dev wants to do damage. Mm, no. And that's really bad for Dev. He wanted to do to punish Messick for taking that red and not able to get any instance of damage. In fact, ends up getting himself killed trying to punish the red. 9-8 Messick. Close, close game. Well, let me hear it from the chat. What do you think? Dev is trapped here. Messick chasing. Midair direct on to Messick from Dev. Dev takes it. 9-11, never forget. Dev with 6 HP taking the jump pad up to the red room. I would not go there, Dev. And Dev smartly retreats. He's able to get two greens and the orange HP, which is going to take a stack to about, you know, three quarters of Messick's. A direct fight happens and Messick gets... Oof, nice! Rocket above his head. Glides right over him and has a nice flick. 
and Messick smartly walks all the way over to that room. Dev didn't hear a fucking thing, was looking the complete wrong direction. Gets another frag off the bat. Oh, the jump pad is the death of Dev right there. Let's Messick take the yellow and keep running on the map, keep running that cycle. Nice kill. Dev 1 HP, and Messick probably knows it. He wants this man right now. Oh, a telefrag! <laughs> we'll make these huge predictions, so. Direct into a good trace, into another good trace. And Dev almost has double the frag count of the messing. Almost double the frag count of Dev. It's not a close game anymore. I believe this is the first map of the series. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. And Dev's gonna call it early. He knows that he can't come back from that deficit with um, about a minute 40 on the clock. I think that was the first map of that series, so we will get to see more of Messick versus Dev. And they're already voting for Furnace. I guess they already decided. Yep, right back into it. Giving me no time. And Three, map 2, Messick versus two, Dev. 1-0, one, oh, Messick. Five. And the map is DP5, Furnace. Messick gets the yellow spawn. Red hasn't been picked up. Dev gets the red. And Messick gets the, the mega health. Oh my god, the burst gun is so strong in here too! Dev just fucks Messick off the first spawn. Oh my goodness. That burst gun, though. And Messick gets his revenge with the LG. And red's gonna be up in about three seconds. Messick gets the ledge yellow and then goes for the red, gets it. Dev tries to punish with damage but gets killed from that little upper platform, which I have no name for. And they trade kills. 3 2. Oh, a bad spawn for Dev. And Messick's looking for another spawn frag. Can he get it? Why is he running? Um, okay, actually, I guess that was fine. I think he could have gotten the second kill, but whatever. Third kill. Yeah, can you come to my house, dude? Portal dancing. A2 Messick. Dev is camping it and he takes the perfect time to shoot his racket, but he still gets smirked. Wait. Don't pay attention to anything I'm saying. Messick with the red. Messick is feeling really comfortable right now. He's gotten both the red and the mega. Red up in six. He takes the upper red and goes to do damage on Dev and get the red, but he gets punished, ends up killing himself, minus one. And that leaves Dev to grab the red armor and start ratting, which he needs to do. He gets a 25, but he gets completely trapped by the LG. Oh, Messick does not know that he missed the jump. Almost kills Dev.
Dev safe for the moment. Messick looking for him while Dev stays silent. Takes a lot of LG damage in the process. Mega picked up by Dev into a fight. Messick with 14 HP. And he takes a portal immediately rails Messick. 9-3 Messick. Messick taking the red and gets a direct on him into a rail and Messick dies from lava. Dev with the triple jump. Looking for Messick. He wants momentum. He wants to keep this momentum. And oh, that's uh, unfortunate. Less of a close start than we saw last time on Simplicity, but a fast-paced match, as expected. And Dev gets a revenge kill onto Messick, 10-4, Roger Dodger. And we're going to be seeing if Messick is going to advance to that upper bracket as most people expected. Or if he's going to have to play another map with his dev. With a loss in this map, dev would be pushed out of the tournament and unable to win his piece of money. There may or may not be 25 Canadian rubies up for grabs. Might have been fake, who knows. So stop making it boring for me. I already know. <laughs> nice spam. Dev catches Messick with his pantaloons down. But Messick is able to chase. Lane. Dev gets a quick red, but he's completely caught out. He doesn't have he has a weapon, just a rocket launcher. Dead again. No weapon on Dev at all here, except for that CR2 burst gun. Can he do work with it? He has an LG against him, not gonna happen. And the yellows are synced up. Messick takes one, his opponent takes the other, and Messick's gonna hit a direct at the same time he picks up a red armor. Pretty happy with that. Low on HP though, if that rocket had hit direct, Clockwork. would have been dead, I think. But Messick wins the fight. And there's now a 10 frag lead on the board. Four minutes remain. Clockwork. Ledge Four yellow remain. taken by Messick, and surprisingly, Dev was not in position. Lockdown. I'm not sure if he knew that the yellows were synced up. But nonetheless, Messick's gonna go from taking the yellow to taking the red and then getting his HP back up to 100. He jumps through the telly into the ledge room. Not sure what anyone else calls it, so that's what I'm gonna call it. And gets the frag and then takes out the burst gun trying to get the spawn frag and he can't get the spawn frag. He doesn't even have a rail. If he had a rail, would have been able to get, get the kill. But I haven't seen very much rail usage from either of them at all, this map actually. Yeah, Dev has opted to go way up to that platform over here. What the fuck, where is that shit? Railgun located here.
This is going to be a fun series. Match begins Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, five. Messick with the yellow spawn gets LG and yellow. And oh no, Shark did not go for red. He went for mega and got caught out in there. First frag going to Messick. And Messick has played this map several times already today. Oh wow, he knocks him completely up and lands right where he expects. Two easy rockets. Maybe that was three. Shark is. Mm, he's standing on red, but it wasn't up for another four seconds. Gonna give in a frag and red and blue, both to Messick. Messick super beefy right now. And okay, he's gonna get pinned right here. A nice pin on Shark from Messick. Messick knows right where he is in a perfect spam rocket. Great timing, jumping through the portal to chase him. Messick really wants Shark to show his face right now. And Messick is playing speed mode. He pins him right on red, denies it perfectly and gets the frag. And Shark is stuck in this orange room. He's gonna die and Shark spawns in red. Messick knows he's there. Shark running away towards that green and gets a direct on the Messick. Low HP on Messick, but picks up the blue. Mega, sorry. Don't know why I'm calling it blue, but gonna make his stack very comfortable for Messick. Shark's making a lot of noise and Messick's going to rocket jump out of the red room. Messick tries to flick him. A little backwards action and LG takes the rockets out. A lot of damage on the shark and shark barely misses the yellow armor allowing Messick to get it after that punish damage he did to Messick. Red's up in five. Messick doing a lot of damage with the LG there. A good trace. He sees Shark is on his way to red. Shark knows that he knows. He doesn't try to go for red smartly. And no rail in the hand of either players yet, but there's going to be another fight at that jump pad near the green. Wait, that's where one of the greens is. Yeah, the green is there. And Messick catches Shark in the orange HP room. Easy kill. Watch Shark pop for a bit and out of control. Just Messick's aim. So trained. So precise. Good LG from Shark. He punishes Messick at the red. But Messick is still happy. He's getting a wide majority of these items spawning. Messick goes in for damage and then retrieves quick. That's one of the things that Messick is very good at, is doing that really quick chip damage and then knowing when to back away after he's punished you enough. He's like, okay. Spam rocket from Shark. He's trying to punish the red and he does punish it quite a bit. He's got a higher stack than Messick right now. Doesn't chase him through the telly. He's going to take jump pad up into the orange HP, collects that, and takes a good amount of damage from the LG. And they both know red is coming up. Shark's gonna opt to try and get the yellow. Messick doesn't go for red. He tries to go for the... Wow! Tries to go for the more aggressive play, and he does a lot of damage to Shark. Takes him down to 10. Shark does not want to see him at all before any HP is taken. And he picks up the 50 HP, but he probably still doesn't want to 1v1 him right here. Oh, he knocks him up perfectly, hits three directs, and still... Oh my goodness! Such a stack from Mezik you saw there, that three directs kills both of them. That's really unfortunate for Shark, because Mezik is still just going to be able to run a train around the whole map get every item that's four minutes and 20 seconds gone by and shark hasn't been able to squeeze anything out of it unfortunately oh okay two good rockets sharks hitting the rocks ah messick drops down punishes him at the yellow armor noob is gonna be there and he gets the armor for himself but red is given to shark about that Ooh, messick gets taken out again does some self damage i believe in the process 
and as they're taking the telly, does a lot of damage to Shark. And Shark gets hit with rockets twice up near the green platform. Shark camping out this yellow, and they're gonna trade yellow and red again. Shark really low, but gets the yellow or er, the mega right there. And his stack is looking okay. Better stack than Messix at the moment. He's grabbed! He's grabbed the rail, but he's in a bad position. This is a trap. He just keeps shooting from there. And they're at equal stacks just about. Messick gets the frag. And remaining dominant on this map. Simplicity. It's 9-2 for Messick. 61 HP. He's gonna get the red armor off of that kill. And do a lot of damage to Shark in the process. Hits a direct on Shark. Takes out the burst killing. Because it's what he wanted to use to finish him off. Ah, nice flick from Shark. Can he get two kills in a row? He can't. Secure the second. Yes, he can. No, he can't. Messick actually kills him. I'm sorry. Let's slip up. Messick lead 11 3. And a trade kill. Red is up. Taken by Messick. And Shark tries to get the red. Gets killed over it. Sharkosity, perhaps best known for being a map maker, maybe the most prolific race mapper in a Reflex Arena, alongside a few others. And, uh, I would have said uh, maybe that goes for dual maps too, but to Ace, being known for having created a lot of favorite dual maps including the one we're seeing here simplicity catalyst t7 which is not in this tournament and Sim simplicity t2 the three most popular maps in the game all made by today's uh, on an unrelated note messick collects another quick kill making it 18-4 kind of a shutout game on simplicity out of control a bit hard to play in this map A fat zoot. Down. 
GG for Messick, 21 6 on Simp. I think, yeah, that was Messick's map choice. And we'll see the next one. Let's see what they decide to play next. Oh, I thought HD in 14 had been banned. Let's think. Right, and they're jumping Five, into it. Four, three, bang, bang. two, one, fight! Messick getting some kind of spawn, and he picks up a Mega. It's the second time we've seen this map, and uh, the second time in our life. Messick's got the three weapons he wants, and he's gotten both items. I would expect that Shark has seen this map before. Probably more than once. Let's see how he's moving around. Two good directs on the Messick is gonna make him run away, and Shark will take the red off of that. Jump on those boxes, grab the rail. Now he has all the weapons he wants. And now we've got a no in control situation, just the 50 50 here, but the fight. It's gonna take Shark so low and Messick knows exactly where he is. Why is Shark chasing him? I'm not sure. But he survives. And the yellow and red are now synced up. Shark's gonna get the red and a rail fight seen here at this upper level. Shark's picking up the green. Er, 5 HP. Mega goes to Messick and he gets the kill off of it. Oh, that's really unfortunate for Shark if it is his first time on the map to be playing it against Messick. That's really unfortunate. But then again, I'm not sure how many times uh, Messick has seen this map himself. But he did play it earlier today, so he's played it at least one or two times, I assume. And he's now just chaining up the kills. He changed three up while I was talking about that. He's gonna grab his fourth at the red armor. Shark grabs it, doesn't matter. Messick goes to the Mega Health and grabs the yellow right after. And apparently Messick was a tester on this map. Shark possibly. Having not seen it until today, obviously a very big disadvantage. Messick has a nice rail, runs out of rail ammo, and he's chasing Shark right now. I didn't even pack that door. Red going to Messick. Shark manages to get Mega, which he needs very badly in order to attempt to contest Messick at any of these items. And it looks like he's gonna try to at the yellow ledge, but Messick gets so much damage with the LG, the shark just has to run away. Really good tracing, and as some of you know on this rule set, the LG being extra strong with that increased trace radius, and Messick with his. I mean, it's not gonna. No one's gonna contest the fact that Messick probably has one of the best games in this entire game, not only the tournament. So definitely gonna win those LG fights. LG fights versus Shark. Oh, Shark with his quick racer movement. His racist movement gonna take him up to the Mega. Messi gets the red. And we're just seeing Cat and Mouse right now. For the past minute about tick damage. Down on Messick with a rail and two rockets from Shark. Leaves him with a really low stack. Shark in a decent position. He can choose to get the next red if he wants. Gets a 54. Ooh, nice names. Not hitting. 
Gets 54 damage onto Messick and lockdown from Shark. He gets the red. Oh my goodness. Takes a lot of damage in the process. He stacks are equalized after that. Oh no. That miss of that jump is what killed Shark. That he probably wants to hit himself about that. Didn't get the green and then died in the LG fight. And Messick taking another LG fight versus Shark. It gets close range around the corner. Messick switches to the rocks, takes him out. Red goes to Messick. And yellow is currently up. Direct hit. Rhino Shark knocks him up. And Messick chasing with the rocket jump. Mm -hmm. Shark strafes right over him. Messick takes rail and tries to flick. They run right past each other. Sorry, taking that quick smoke break right now. Messick continuing the domination trend on map 2, which as we previously discussed, very likely that Shark hasn't seen this map at all, and Messick has played it at least tens of times, tested it with Poit. That's a big disadvantage, and Messick, you know, grind been grinding Diabotical for <laughs> about a fucking year probably. Shark mainly racing, but still a good dual player, solid dual player for sure. And a great map maker. Check out his maps in Reflex if you like racing. Oh, and you see the weird collision in Reflex right there. Oh, Shark just is completely pinned. Nothing Shark could have done about that other than not be at that spot at that time. And he's, he waited for him to come through there, ran out of rail ammo, and he knew he was going for red. He's so easy to kill. Yep, there it is. Messick really continues stacking up the kills here in CPM style. Lots of spawn frags. Actually not a high frag game considering it's only about 20 frags on the board in 8 minutes. Not a high scoring game. Still just seems that way after looking at diabolical bullshit. Oh, Mythic is being cheeky. Yeah. Well, he can afford all the cheekiness he wants. One minute remaining. I mean, one. Yeah, I don't know anything about this map. My, my G.
Yeah, that map disadvantage very un unfortunate for Shark. Oh! <laughs> the nade spam gets Shark. And a quick and close rocket fight. Messick with the half beat backwards. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a sick escape. He still dies, but that was that was nice. Messick showing off his uh, moving a bit there. Yeah, that was a shutout match. Is that Enigma? Oh yeah, Shark is a Dota player, I forgot about that. GD, GG to both players. I believe that's 2-0, and let me take a look at the challenge link here. For the cosh or crow, I was like, talk to my flow. There's not a guy in Britain with this. I said, there's not a guy in Britain with that. Prez, how are you gonna bury that chat? Trust me, when I see one of these online G's, you'll be like, did you bury that gap? Kill off Kali. I said, kill off Kali. Resident T, get kill off Kali. Please, don't mention T on the wing. If you're not down with kill off Kali, test Prez T, get kill off Kali. Blood. Don't mention strange returns if you don't kill off me. I'm gonna say how straight, see this life, it's not what it seems. Somebody asks me why I don't get no dreams. Go against man like president, you better back those greens. See what we follow us, my see. Alright, we're jumping into. Wait, is Magus Puma? Can you let me know? Is this Puma? Alright, wait. Who are we watching right now? Okay. All right. Cheers, bullet for you for the follow. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just spotted Puma in the spectate, so thank you. All right. I was just trying to figure out who I was watching. Made just a friend of Blazos, possibly from CPM. Guess not from CPM. Just a newer player, and gets pinned by Dev real quick. First frag on the board. Yeah, I, I know that by now. Thank you. Close range rocket. One yellow is up on the ledge. Mage is in that room and he grabs it. Death grabs rail in the off time and hits two directs onto Magus. Magus dropping into red room and he gets red. Dev knows and surprisingly does not get a full punish on the Magus. Magus is out of HP actually. Dev camping this top yellow. And he's gonna get a kill on this yellow room. Try to find out where he spawned. Not finding him. Oh, takes the teleporter back in to secure that one. And he heard him shoot his first gun right there. Should be able to do another kill. Chains them together nicely. Grabs the like, ledge yellow. And he should know that either Mega or Red is up by now. Oh, he wanted to get both the Mega and the kill, but that's alright. He gets the kill. And can he get. No, he. Nice. <laughs> okay, this will be a sump, and uh, I will do what the people want. Wait, oops, I shouldn't call a map though, probably. 
Wait, Puma? Oh, they switched. I didn't know they switched. Um, is this stream live? The fuck? Uh, yeah, that server just crashed or something. Okay, I think Puma and Zormer just chose DB5, which um, Dev and Magus were playing on. I don't know what happened to that server. That was really weird. I'm curious, what the fuck? Maybe it was just me. Okay, it's happening again. What the fuck? Am I getting reflex ISIS? Reflex ISIS, please no. Fiends, I was the Formula One without the teams. Good old Glee. I will die by any means and believe I won't make any mess. And I apologize to any other my man if I brought any stress. They were like Alright. Puma and Izormer. We saw a good performance from Izormer, who was mentioned as being the proto Cthulhu and Poma very well known for being basically one of the biggest chat flexors ever and also a uh, mixed master race to give some player background Puma here loves mountain biking he loves vaping weed and uh, the man loves cats what can we say he loves cats Zormer camping red room, grabs red and a lot of LG damage on top of it. Not on his end, on the other end. And then finishes off Puma with a rocket through that little... Those fucking bars. What do you even call those things? I don't know what you would call them. Oh, a direct onto Zormer from Puma. Puma low on HP, gets directed, but he's still alive because he had that yellow. And Red going to his armor. Puma gets fragged again, unfortunately. It's 4-0 on the board. And Puma is going for that red, get, or yellow gets it. And he gets a lot of damage on his armor as well. So he's coming out ahead on that. Yeah, Puma's feeling good about this. Or the current situation. He should be able to get a real good punish off of this. But he doesn't really have much LG ammo and he didn't pull it out either. And it seems like he was a bit confused as to where to go right there. Unfortunately, he just gets stuck in Red Room and then killed by spam. But Poma gets the frag. And a 100 HP direct. Spam into the Mega Health Room. He runs the triple jump right before Red spawns and he's gonna go for the rail. Gets a pretty decent rocket, grabs red, and he's gonna go back for the triple. No, he's getting pinned, but he's fine. Makes it out of there right in time, and he... His armor was anticipating the camp from Puma, gets the frag. 67 HP remain on his armor. The ledge yellow going to his armor, and he gives a bit of a chase as well. Damages himself in the process. And he also gets the upper yellow, jumps down to Mega Room, doing LG damage on Puma, who's currently in Red Room, and Puma RJ is out, taking more LG damage. About an eagle stack here. Blood yellow going to Azormer, and Puma really needs an item here. This red is coming up. And Puma really wants it. He goes in close with nades, but gets fragged with the rockets. No HP on his armor, but almost a 200 stack of armor. Puma doesn't want to face him. Really needs health, really needs armor. Six frag disadvantage, but that is not a lot in this game. But he does want to build a stack before he can really fight. He's trying, mm, wants to punish the red, but he just takes damage himself instead. 
Jumps three times through the tallies, four time. Goes to the ledge yellow and gets killed. Unfortunately, does not have the HP to fight that, and a quick racket from the Swarmer puts him out of his misery. Zormer self damaging to lock down the map. Direct onto his armor from Poma and two directs onto his armor, but he still loses the fight because of the stack advantage. His armor has picked up so many of these items. Pior gets a frag and goes into the red room very fragilely and he falls. Fragilely is not even a word. Poma escapes with the mega after his latest spawn. Zormer picking up the ledge yellow and the rocket launcher. Dropping. Oh my goodness! Traps into Mega and hits a good rocket, which sends Poma flying, but he can't do anything with it. Um, don't know what that was. Quick red pickup, and Poma's punishing good here, but no. A quick trace from the lightning gun. Kills the poor Puma cat, and his armor is just running into him, but he frags himself. Triple jump up to the teleporter. Let's see what's going on. Five minutes remaining. <laughs> Puma gets two melee one. This armor is chaining the kills together and every single item. It looks like he's just running him down like a train against a bunch of people tied to the train car. Would you pull the lever to save him? The not pulling that lever. <laughs> oh, Poma tries to hide, but his armor knows he's there. And he plays the role of the cat, quickly eats him up, along with the red armor. self damage to keep the lockdown going. He's absolutely not letting Puma get any armor at all. There is a yellow up, he grabs it. Oh, two quick directs, three from Puma! There you go. That was easy. Puma, no stack left, falls in the red room, and Puma goes in with his sword, tries to cut him up into pieces at the red, but he was waiting for it. Too quick. Zormer continues dominating. 22 to 2. We got a triple number number there. Near water. He sees Puma take the double jump. Lots of LG damage. Finishes him up. There's Ormer in the lead. It's contested at the ledge yellow and what did I just say? Ledge yellow. There we go. Top yellow goes to Zoru, but Puma heard him pick it up. And the spam rocket dispatches him. And another kill for Puma. Here's him trying to sneak up on him in the red room. So he's able to pick up that mega and red. In control right now for Puma. Now let's see if we can capitalize off of it in two minutes. Nice rail, and you should be able to... Mm. Some lag on his own resent. Maybe... Homo perhaps consuming a bit more alcohol than is needed, but still 
showing us how to play Reflex Arena. 25-4 on the scoreboard. Minute 10 left. Both rockets are out. Homo with the frag. And he wants to get the second one. Spam doesn't get him anything. His armor goes to the telly, gets good damage off. P Ward knows where he is. Homa gets two good rockets, doesn't get the third or the fourth, unfortunately. And his armor grabs a red. Poma knows this and tries to run to punish, but unfortunately not. Uh oh, melee out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Some nice tick damage. And 15 seconds left. Game over. I believe that is 1 0. And I think. Thing. I'm not sure whose map choice that was actually. 1 0 for his armor. Two, starting. Homo is warmer. Simplicity. Or DM13 if you like. Homo gets the red spawn and he collects the red armor and the rocket launcher. The same room goes for the yellow and grabs that too. And the LG. He's looking good. Holy fuck is it cold in my room. Make sure that air conditioning is off as it is the winter time. And it's not turning off, but exchange is being made in damage. Red is up. Oh, some finesse. His armor strafes onto the red and gets the frag. And now going to get the second frag. He really should be able to get it, but he takes a melee in the face. Sacks are equalized at very low, and Poma just stands there and baits him in the portal. Oh no, his armor knew. Nice. Oh, Poma's not going to be able to run away. He does get the red though. And, okay, gets away with his line. Really nice rocket onto the rail platform.
minutes remaining. Four minutes for me. remaining.
passing the bill by President T. Yeah? You might have to know. I'm set here for this thing. You might see a line that's blue, my G. And it's set a great one. Whatever fucking grade you're running by, passing the bill. Take it a fucking bit. Don't get me fucking mad in here, bloody one. I live my life with heart, not every day rise and shine I sold drugs that rise to your mind, now it's all legal, won't see it decline I heard stories, they all seem to be lying I heard stories, they all seem to be lying Kill off, kill off, bam, 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 leave And we're back with a more stoned caster than before Looks like we got Theo, who unfortunately I'm not familiar with If anyone in chat would like to fill me in Feel free to do so. We now we got Theo matching up versus Janky Goat Smuggler, a notorious aimer. This guy can aim in his fucking sleep with a mask over his eyes. Now the yellow armor is going to Theo, but Janky's got him cornered, and the portal is what Theo is going to take. And Janky shows up. Unexpected with the LG, just runs him down, takes the yellow for himself, calls him a little bitch in the process. Alright, Theo camping the red, hits a 100, but he stays on the red platform. That was a death trap right there. Janky will be able to get the red off of that, and he goes for the Mega 2. Nice. Gets it and the kill. Alright, Janky, um... Kind of just lucks himself into that frag, <laughs> but nice. Takes the portal up. LG ammo's gonna run out. He switches the rockets. I just said switches. That was pretty neat. He's gonna take the portal to red, and he knows the jump. I'm pretty sure he did the jump there. Not sure. And Theo again in this corner. I think he's waiting for that yellow, and he's gonna get smacked. Janky's gonna be able to take this yellow, but oh, he knows yellow. There are megas up instead. Takes lower yellow. Theo's going for red, and Janky knows that the position of his opponent is right there. Slays him. And really quickly, we see 10 frags go out on the board. Janky is showing up today. Today being the first reflex cup that has happened in at least six months, I believe. I could be wrong. Definitely could be wrong. My memory is dog shit. And both players, really, you see the kind of janky knockup of reflex rockets right there. At least they are better than Diabolicals, let's be honest. Anything in Reflex is mostly better. And they both got knocked up super hard during that fight on the upper ledge. Theo getting his first frag there. And now he's really ratting, and his movement is not as good as it could be right now. Janky gonna get him on the portal to red. Mega's up, Janky was baiting it for a second or trying to hear where Theo was. And now Theo is again in this trap. But rail in hands, he's gonna get away. Jackie's gonna grab the 25s and go straight for that second kill. He knew he had spawned at that upper yellow. Get the easy kill before you get the red. I think you heard him grab this green, get so much LG damage on to Theo, who's barely hanging on by a thread right now, spamming plasma at the Lockdown. teleporter while Janky gets upper yellow, and Lockdown. that was an easy trace. Lockdown. Really solidifying his domination of this map in Pocket Infinity. And now we're just gonna see a semi extended rail battle over the top yellow. Janky wins that one and then jumps down to get another quick frag. Telly's in the red room, grabs red. Jumps against the wall for a second. Maybe that's the lag they were talking about, possibly affecting them, not sure.
Easy 80 damage onto Theo. That's why the rail is so strong. And he's gonna just jump to the telly, punish him there in the red room. And now Theo is again in the lower yellow corner, gets killed for it. Jenkins in all the right times at the right places. Wait. <laughs> oh, he's at all the right places in the right time. Perfect. Perfect. No mega there for you, Theo. Have I been muted this whole time? Tell me. Or at least for like, not like the past five minutes. <laughs> the melee kill goes to Janky. Ooh, sword on from Theo. Nice one, slices Janky up. 25-1 on the board. And Janky, the aim fiend, currently showcasing two missed rails, but still. Very nice performance from Janky so far. Maybe we'll, you know, we will see a Janky versus Dev, or Janky versus um, Janky versus Messick. Could be some nice things. Oh, quick direct from Theo. It's gonna take him out. Or from Janky, I'm sorry. The spec switch still confuses me. It's an uh, automatic spectator switch to the killer. Death in the red room. Ooh, one rail, second rail looks like it hit, or maybe grazed right past the hook. Clearly a neck head issue. Just kidding. Ooh, direct into a rail, and I like the combo there. Always fun to see those. Any bounce up combo is fun to watch. Ooh, he tries for it again, just barely misses. Almost gets the telefrag, and almost gets through it. Ah, nice rocket jump. And another quick combo. Oh, that's lag or his mouse goes out. <laughs> I think Janky's mouse is like going out or the server's lagging for him. Big shutout. Mid scoring match. 33-1, Janky Goat Smuggler. This guy probably plays like a whole bunch of Kovacs, I'm pretty sure. Janky has Kovac scores. What a gamer. Two rails from Theo, easy game for him. <laughs> uh, 
Nice flick. Or that was probably just AoE damage. <laughs> That was map one. Actually, I'm not sure. Theo getting an item drop from that. Gonna see what item he gets. Reflux had uh, more boxes, it would never would have died. Is that my point? Rage, you already know my team. Couple of minutes, mine's a rock, mine's a cage. Pulled up my female after, she was like, let me order the Henry, no laughter. <laughs> Off today. I had feds in my taste for a hot one. Go get a trade. You can't leg man down when nobody's got one. I see potential in these ends. Why are you gonna stab it? And if I'm airing my calls, sorry, it must be a habit. Yeah, I said, yeah. Too cold for the olders, too hot for the youths. All this eye for an eye. Don't shot straight to your tooth. No, I don't fit no solo panels. I hit the roof, started a combo, mentioned my hobbies, said you're a killer, but I didn't count no bodies. Mine's here like that's blue, my G, and it won't do the bobbies. Mine's here like that's blue, my G. Mine's here like that's blue, my G. I ain't gonna let him run this. Mine's here like that's blue, my G. I'm gonna keep running it. Mine's here like that's blue, my G, and it won't do the bobbies. Trust me, man. Trust me, man. Mine's here like that's blue, my G. I've been keeping the levels like this for well over 10 years, and you know what? Man's gonna do it for another 10. President. Gonna see Mesic versus Azormer, which I am excited about. Like this. This lower finals is gonna be sick. Passing the bill. And then that's only lower finals. Uh -huh. We have some good games Please coming up. Please don't talk about the life that I'm living. Just you don't know. do it. Da -da -da.
right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. When I kill people, no one knows. H and N's, stay off the roads. Rise the machine and everyone froze. I met the fast CO decompose. I'll shoot blood straight out of your nose. Big four, five, stop coloring clothes. Hundred girls ran through hoes. They like to act like anything goes. Out to the young, out to the weak. You work hard and you earn your keep. Gotta stand firm, stay on your feet. Go to bed early, get some sleep. See, man's gotta eat. Man's gotta think before man speak. Carry on rising, you reach your peak. I write the vocals, you make the beat. I made the vocals, turn up the heat. Pine up local, pine up sweet. Fresh amnesia, give me a sheet. Them lot economy. What you listening to is elite. And I ain't talking feds when I say, I put Bobby on the beat. Never been a victim, they was all gassed up until the sword of victim. Went for a mobile, nobody picked him. No pain, no gain. Send me a link, but I never clicked him. Alright, into the upper semi-finals. It's Janky Smoke Gug Janky Code Smuggler. Damn. First is Messick. And it's HDM14, which Janky is not familiar with, so he is gonna be on a bit of a back foot, just like we saw earlier when um Dev was playing against someone I can't remember. But um hopefully Janky will, you know, show something. First frag goes to Messick, and he collects the red immediately after. And a high stack. Full screen in the lane. And Messick going for the LG into rail combo, but doesn't quite get it off. He's spamming the teleporter, gets like 4 damage or 40. Into rail. Nice, he knows where it's up, grabs it. Good timing on his part. Obviously that 25 seconds is ingrained into his brain. Branded in there for eternity. And he's gonna jump onto this yellow, which is on a ledge, so I'm gonna call it ledge yellow. And times it in three seconds. What up? Oh, nice rail. Takes him very low. They're both very low. Oh my goodness, Janky doesn't seem to jump down. <laughs> and a quick rocket finishes him off. He grabs a Mega. Me Messick needs to get out of there. And he does. And he throws a defensive nade. And now he's LG in him after grabbing some HP. It's a rocket fight on that ledge. Yellow. And Messick wins it. And then he runs immediately into a Janky who's just spawned. Janky did not get killed by the direct because he managed to grab some armor. Really good that he grabbed that before running head in on into Messick. Now another fight on this lower oof, lower layer. And Jackie's gonna take his first frag for the map. That's good. But oh his stack was only 25-25. Loses the fight to Messick. Has a superior stack from grabbing that ledge yellow. And Messick is just gonna spam out the two main corridors on the lower part of this map and Messick gets the red lots of contest damage coming from Jank from Janky and Messick doing even more two rails onto Messick three rails onto Messick in the trade with a rocket from Messick both killing each other 5-2 with almost three minutes on the board And remember, this is, um... This is Messick's map. Janky, unfamiliar with this map. Trying to hit the rail. And it's a very close game. Anyone's game right now. With people's pick. I would say most people would pick Messick for this matchup, but it's looking mighty close right now, and I'm excited about that. Oh, Messick's jumping right into the portal into Janky, and he gives chase. Janky's gonna do a little defensive maneuvering, just jumping around, showing off a bit of movement on this lower platform 
Literally just running away from Messick right now is what he's doing. Oh, he hits a direct grenade that Messick throws out. Not sure if he heard him or if that was just premonition. Really good premonition if it was. And Messick is grabbing the Mega and kills Janky in the process. Janky should have retreated or not contested that. And he's going to get a spawn frag off of this one. It's 7-3 now. And Janky going to need to find some armor and weapons to get back into this. Knows he's down there. Gets the red. Messick is going to get the kill off of that, most likely. No, Messick jumps into the teleporter, anticipating him to go into the other. He doesn't. And we now enter the halfway mark of this map with Janky killing himself. That's so unfortunate. Messick misses the pin and gets the kill. Or gets killed. Messick misses quite an easy pin almost. Janky takes it back to three and seven. Messick leads. Messick takes teleporter up. Janky getting a really big trace onto Messick. He's taken almost his whole stack and then hits a rail off of it. Messick is so low right now. He picks up just a green armor. Jesus. And now they fight. Janky Goat Smuggler is going to win that one. He's firmly in this game. Gets a quick second. A spawn frag. After Messick jumps right up the stairs. Janky takes right off of this. He's in really good position right now. And he's now playing in control. He should be given chase. And that was a really good tick damage. Again, Janky is hitting these rails, which is so important. 6-12. 50% rail accuracy versus 25% for Messick. That is so important right now. And he's going to get good LG damage on Messick. But Messick takes the red and then slightly pins Janky. He's going to hit the rail on death. That's pretty good. It's, a, it's bad for Janky, but it's good that he hit that rail. Messick not having a full stack. Mm, it gets the frag on to go. Damn. Both players Three have remaining. really, really good aim. Nice! Mm. 6 HP left on Messick. That's how fight these that's how close these fights are coming down. Oh Messick is so low. It gets him at 4 HP remaining again. This is insane. Janky luckily takes him down after a bit of a thrashing. It's 11 6 Messick. And Janky really needs an armor. He's gonna take the lead yellow spawns right now. And he really needs to get this mega or red. He needs an LG as well. Okay, he's chasing Messick with rockets onto the red. He's contesting the red, hits him up, and misses the direct. He misses the direct hit. And Messick gets a spawn frag off of that. Messick claims the LG and Mega in. Wow. That rocket. What was that? Three kills in quick succession for Messick. He also gets another red and is just dealing a lot of damage to Janky right now. He leads by 10. I'm not sure if there's a way back for him. It would have to be a very impressive chain of kills. He gets one. <laughs> Messick leads nine. Janky takes red. Janky takes teleporter up. He's gonna start needing to chase it really fast. Messick knows what to do. He's literally just sitting there like he's playing Wipeout and Diabotical. And now they find each other for an LG battle, and Messick wins that one. That is basically sealing his fate.
in this upper semifinal. However, this being the first map, and it was Messick's pick, we could definitely have a 2-1 for either player. Janky's just gonna play it out. Keep shooting. Messick is really good on the weapon switches. And surprisingly, for a player that's been dueling for at least a couple of years. Grabs a red, 10 seconds remaining, GG called by Janky. Okay. And next map should be Janky Goat Smuggler's pick. Game over. Present tea. Great stuff, man. Get off Kelly Records. Pass in the fucking bill. What? Went on the move, no mask, no bally. They're all talking numbers, but I don't tally. Leaves up, move like galley. Just got rid of in Spain. Trust me, I won this rally. First little stretch got done in Manny. I said, first little stretch got done in Manny. Now it's all up, oh man, wanna spud me? Don't walk on fam or blood me. Thought your girl was bad. I make the scene turn ugly. All for the pound. I put an up to the floor, no rugby. I said, all for the pound. I put an up to the floor, no rugby. I've been around so long, I glide. All this murder in his bars. Nobody died. I heard a crud in the air, but I don't see him outside. Step one inch. My G, I'm taking a stride. He's not pimping. I said, he's not pimping. Must be a ride. They don't want to bow to the king. Must be the pride. Man can't conquer. We all divide. Family, put that beef to the side. I know man, no wham. I know man, no why. There's rules to the game. Family, so I'll make you a bite. Should I explain? War with me, might get slugged to the grill. War with me, might get slugged to the dome. Free range weeks. And I ain't talking a cold. Big man, I ain't from a bad man zone. I said, Big man, if you're a bad man, show me the crow. These lot have never been riders. When I come around, dash man out of the sliders. When it comes to the law, we're not abiders. These lot have never been riders. When I come around, dash man out of the sliders. When it comes to the law, they're not biters. Won't see these guys there on their own. Won't see these guys there on their own. When they see man like me, they get on the phone, try to conceal. But the cover is blown. Don't let bars go over your head. Government drone. Send two shots to your government home. Can't handle my fame. Hate on my riches. These lot move like snitches. When it comes to the law, roll with pagans. That was the floor. Can't man in the face. But I ain't using the claw. Carry on moving your jaw. Spend the rest of your life. I said, using a straw. Came into conflict, talking wicked and raw. Are you sure? Too late to withdraw. Too late to withdraw. Now that I'm gone, they can't survive. Mention my name, you're taking a dive. All of your gang them arrived us. All of my gang them drive. Came in for president, will he arrive? Came in for president, these other guys are whack. They all come like pistols, brother, I'm holding a Mac. I can truthfully say, no one's holding me back. I had to wipe like crystal. Crystal, these are moving black. He's not never been riders. When I come around, that man out of the sliders. When it comes to the law, we're not biters. These are never been riders. When I come around, that man out of the sliders. When it comes to the law, they're not biters.
survived longer than I expected.
All right, and we're in with a map that is not actually in the tournament at all, but the players have decided to play it just because. And okay, that's fine. Mesic is the first frag, grabs mega rocket jumps to yellow, and another rocket jump. This is a big fucking map. I've only played so T T3. I have not played this. So turny too. Five minutes remaining. Clockwork. 
This is close as fuck. Janky in the lead by three. Five minutes 35 on the clock. And we are again playing an unsanctioned map, so T3. I don't think of any of those maps are in this map. Huh? And Janky is doing quite damn well right now. Very possible that we will see a 2-1. I knew it, man. I'm so genius. Janky's chasing. Uh, oof. That's not good. Messing on the upper level. Gets another frag. And grabs up a yellow in a quick directly down rocket onto Janky, kills him. And IC, or LG, kills him again, again. And it goes 10 14 to 14 14. Maybe it won't be 2 1. Four health on Messick. Standard. Nice LG model, by the way. Skin. Skin oh, a perfect trace into a foot rocket. Three minutes remaining. Ending Jackie's life quick. Oh. Rockets and LG finish him off one more time. Red armor is available. Janky grabs it, takes the teleporter. Messick unable to do any damage to him. Takes the teleporter, gets a direct on him, but is down to 13 HP himself. If he had gotten hit by that rail, he would have gone down for sure. Picks up the two 25 HPs and the yellow armor. He has a healthy stack and Janky chips at it, much to Messick's dismay, and chips at it again, but he catches Janky with a good trace. Finishes him with the LG and runs away at a really good time. Again, Messick really knows when and how to disengage from these fights. And that is really important. Caught out again. Very close though. Still anyone's game. Oh, woof. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Oh my god. Okay. Damn. Messick is just laying it in now. Janky with the rail. Oh no, that was a lag or something. Or his mouse gave out. That is so unfortunate. Messick jumps down in two directs, but Janky kills him. Not two directs. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Janky catches Messick, going for the yellow, and he gets it, but Messick is low. Chases, and then disengages through the portal. Messick chases through the teleporter, and disengages. This is very low health, and Janky catches him, kills him. Only one minute to make up a difference of five kills here for Janky. Less than a minute, and Messick is already playing... Huh? Well, I thought Messick would just stand there and play fucking rat mode for 40 seconds. If Messick just runs away for 40 seconds, he's good. He gets a frag, that's better. Then running away. And it looks like it will be a 2-0 in favor of Messick, the favorite, in this tournament. And that will have Messick moving out of the upper semis into the semifinals from uppers. Congrats to him.
either lower finals or um wait these were upper semis not upper finals i'm silly because we have upper finals or lower finals next All right, Zona versus Shark, let's get right into it. This seems good. They're playing HTM14, which we have seen by at least three, four times today. It was the first map that Messick and Janky played on. And we're gonna see it again. Nice dove gray textures. And we have Messick leading 4-2, 240 into the game. And it's when we're fighting, oh, the lag. Work. This sucks, man. These fucking servers. Shark. I would say a movement god. Not only known for making so many race maps. And a lot of very ooh, nice nade, just like we saw a bit earlier. Not only known for his many race maps made, but how many of his race ma maps were popular, and also holds some records in defrag or reflex, as far as I know, for racism. Shark grabbing the 5 HPs and ooh, eats a rocket from his armor. He's doing a little circle and grabs the yellow after some self damage. Gonna get the red for free. Shark not able to get any damage on him. Oh, his armor hits two directs in a row and he shark. And shark spawns literally within his eyesight. You hate to see it. Takes the telly up and he's trapped in a corner. Goes to a telly. Gets away. And a teleporter frag, second one I've seen today. Good stuff. Zomer misses the rocket jump, causing him to do extra damage to himself. And it will not matter. Still gets the frag on Shark. 15 HP to his name. Oh, gonna go down. And Shark gets the Mega off of that. And he's probably looking for red or yellow now. It's taking the teleporter towards the yellow ledge and as Warmer gets it and slays him.
Shark forfeit to Azorma. Looks like Azorma is going in upper finals. Sharkai City forfeit. Looks like. Oh, yeah, let me check the challenge. Sorry.
rooms of the world all night Wasting your days Chasing some girls all right Chasing cocaine Through the back rooms of the world all night This might be lower finals. One moment. Another uh, simplicity, aka DM14, I think. It's Azormer versus Dev. We've seen Azormer play really well today. Dev, good player as well. Only caught some slams from him. Okay, this is loser's final. Oh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude. Nice. Let me check if upper finals has started. Looks like we are having ping issues with Mythic. So, um, Shark, can you tell me when? Can you tell me when, like, the upper final start, please? Can someone tell me when the upper final start, please? And thank you. Jumping back into lower bracket. Upper finals is over. Wait, I thought up. I thought upper finals was fucking Mythic and Janky. Er, Nessic and... Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, Messick beat Janky, and I thought he was gonna... Yeah, Messick beat Janky, you're right. I'm just fucking stupid, dude. Back into lower finals. It's Azormer. Up oh, eight frags. Looking good. Shark, who knocked you out? Ooh, shotgun little face from Dev. Look at the sick fade on his rocket launcher. Oh yeah, you had to go. Where, where do you have to go? Actually, I don't know why I asked you that. Yes. Yeah, I caught some of that. 
Or actually, yeah, we watched most of that. On stream. Zormer leading by eight. He's contesting red. Oh. Zormer picking up red and the kill. Oh, I think he ate a melee. Did he eat a melee? Nice. Oh, Mega's up. He's going for it. He grabs it. No punish. This is the only game going on, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Also, thanks for the host earlier, Messick. Congrats on your finals. Which I'm sure no one expected. Ooh, so close to the mid air there. He's angling for this yellow. Should be up now. Zormer grabs the yellow, perfect timing, jumps up in the teleporter and gets railed before landing a mega. Then he gets pinned in the mega pit, giving Dev red. Ow! Oh, well, he misses the red jump, but he knows the other one, one of the 20 other ones. But that is probably the quickest. Unless you're flying in from another room. Alright, Zormer grabs yellow. And red up in five seconds. Wow, that was fast. Both players contesting this red. Death has a better position right now. Hits a direct, taking a lot of damage too. The Zormer drops in the mega pit, giving Dev the red. Dev takes self damage down to 15 HP. Now back to 38, but really lacking HP compared to the Zormer stack. Zormer taking the teleporter up, and he knows that Dev wanted to go for the yellow. Dev opts for the orange, 50 HP. And gets those yellows, and his stack is looking a little more stable. Now another fight at the red room. Both players fighting for control for this red armor, and Dev gets it. Nice. Dev in this game. Dev definitely in this game. It's not over. Yeah, some good fights have been happening over the red armor. And I don't think Dev will win the spawn fight, unfortunately. Zormer gonna kill Dev shortly after his spawn, and he's gonna get another spawn frag, which gives him the yellow, and he should really easily be able to get red, but Mega is also up. I wonder if Dev has seen that. Oh, he's contesting red instead. He gets knocked up into the red. And Zormer's fighting him still! Zormer has no stack at all. Jumps over to the shards and the 50 HP, it gets the green. Stack is a bit more stabilized. Zormer back in comfort. Also gets the yellow. That leaves him in a fine and dandy position to fight for the next red. Is he gonna fall into TP? Yes. Dev not getting the pin that he wanted to get there, and then Dev getting caught out near the green platform. And the Zormer's comboing these kills into each other. Dev can't fight this red at all, he knows it, tries to get away, and he has no HP at all, gets the yellow and then dies. Now this red is up, Zormer should take it up for free. And spamming rockets at the same time, doesn't hit the spam rocket, but good LG damage. He does not get punished for this, but will he get put? No. That is a good escape right there. Like, you don't want to get fucking stuck on rail platform. And he understands that instantly Rocket jumps out. Takes Halo. 
Alright, I'll let my co-caster take it from here. Again, this is uh, upper bracket final, or er, lower bracket finals. Oh, fuck. Game over. Oh yeah, that's an FF right there. That should be map one. And we'll see what map two has in store. Back into the lower finals as Warmer and Dev. Dev gets Mega Health in a fight immediately. Plasma versus LG. First blood goes to that CR2 version of Burst Rifle. It goes to Dev. Oh, wow. That was an interesting first fight. I don't think he wanted that rocket jump. There he goes. Gets the rail and then immediately jumps into another fight with his Warmer. And he's gonna sit for this ledge yellow. He goes for the ledge yellow, Dev waits for him. Oh my goodness. One HP, he's dead. One one on the board. That gives his armor red. The rocket jumps up, and so does his opponent. Mega goes to his armor, but 10 HP taken off by that rail. Oh, Dev gets a frag. It's a ball game. I just remembered this is a best of five.
Holy shit, this is close. Second map, the lower finals. Zormer takes stair, yellow, and red. Jumps into the portal right before Dev exits. Oh my goodness, a nice direct. Dev. Dev is on his last breath, picks up Mega at a good time, and then eats the direct. He needs to run. Oh! Great prediction, Rocket Or He heard them, oh my goodness. That was fantastic. 16, 15, 17, 15. Sixteen, eighteen. What is happening? 17, 18, 40 seconds left. Is this one we're just gonna run? He grabs red. They have to fight now. No, he tries to RJ up, but he misses a rocket jump. And Dev was trapped, he kills himself. It's 18, 16 now. Dev just lost a point to suicide. And now, oh my, what? What? Oh my god. Zormer takes it. Who won the last map, by the way? 
see, I don't even know. <laughs> I bet they didn't even want to play a best of five. Alright, Zormer up by two, and yep, a reflex cup, surprisingly. It was organized in um, 24 hours. And let me change this full score sheet. Zormer up by two, and this is my favorite map to watch and to play. Actually, probably just to play. Seems like every server we've gotten today has had some kind of issue though. versus dev map three this could be sending dev home first frag is gonna go to dev with a cheeky rocket in the lower yellow position and zormer just hiding for a little bit picks up shotgun and i see or lg for himself 
Sorry, Iron Cannon, Lightning Gun, whatever. Nice, I like that jump for, to red. It's a good one to learn, and he uses it to his advantage to save a couple seconds. Goes from red to lower yellow. And Zormer looking good. 1 0 on the map so far. On the scoreboard, sorry. And Dev is going to be looking to go into the red armor room soon. Both rails missed. Your average or regular red jump shown there. And Dev knows that lower yellow is up right now. He's gonna. Oh! Contesting Zormer there! Rockets versus Rockets! Two directs hit by both players! Oh my goodness, such a low stack on Dev. Dev cannot fight right now. Smartly, he goes into the telly, picks up the 50 HP, goes for the yellow HP, and he needs to grab uh, a yellow armor, and he does here. And he's going to keep running, which is smart. He's going to keep trying to... Mm, that direct is really hurting him. He's caught in this lower yellow position where you don't want to be. It sucks shit to get out of, and he's going to get hit by a rail for trying to exit. But he has one in exchange, and then goes up and dies. Gets the kill. Sorry. Oh no, it's no ammo on the rail. Dev can get the LG kill. Now Dev is leading by one. And this is considered to be a fast paced map. Green armor picked up by Zormer, who then goes for the red jump, but he gets completely traced by Dev with LG. They're both very low right now. Zormer slightly higher on the stack and Zormer gets the frag onto Dev right there at the Mega Hell and picks it up for himself and he gets the double kill. A little bit of momentum turns one kill into another. Now it's changed. It's 3 2 Zormer. Gonna pass in this Mega Room or Red Room and get the kill right there, changing it 4 2 for Zormer. Trying to send Dev home and go into the finals right here. And Zormer is really cycling the items well. He's not letting him get anything, and if he does get an item, he punishes the hell out of him. As you see, he ate more than just a rail right there for trying to get yellow. Zormer retreating at such a good time. 6 HP, and then goes into red to punish it. Oh my goodness, they're both solo. Dev needed to hit that rail, and he did hit the rail. But he had such low HP. Shotgun from Azormer gonna take him. 5-3 on the board. This is so crazy. Oh my goodness. He had his melee out at such a poor time, unfortunately. The rocket jumps onto the raid three seconds early, but it doesn't matter. He combos him and then gets killed by Dev in response. Dev at the upper yellow position takes the armor. And Azormer has Mega. Dev knows this. Dev goes to the lower yellow. This is good for him. This is pretty good. He's in good position. If he gets this kill right here, no. And Azormer is. They're both going for red. Azormer gets the kill. That was really crucial for Dev. And all Dev has is a lightning gun right now. And he has no armor. He gets top armor. Gets a rocket launcher, a rail. Now he just needs a bit of HP and he can fight for this next red, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to either contest this red or make it painful for Azormer to take, and he is making it painful, but all he had left is rockets. He dies again trying to contest red, giving Azormer that red armor. He gets hit. He hits some great rockets onto Dev, and then LG is dead. Self damages for the lower yellow. Moving on to stairs into red room. Red is not up for another six seconds. He's just spamming the portal, does a bit of self damage and another bit of unintentional self damage, failing the rocket jump. But he hits a lucky direct spam. Okay, maybe not lucky, but good direct spam there. Hits him for 100 HP. Dev not really in a position to fight here, but he's gonna fight anyway. Dev kills himself. That is so unfortunate. Dev takes the red. He's getting mega punished for it though. 
Our dev takes the mega and then gets punished for it. That is so unfortunate. And he runs right into his rocket. And now a perfect choice from his armor. He's just stacking up the kills. This is looking really poorly for a dev right now. His armor kills himself on the lava. Okay. 312, his armor. A little exchange at the upper yellow position. Zormer moving towards red stairs, but it's not up yet. Dev kills him. Four minutes remaining. Looking better for Dev. Um, yeah, those missed rockets were not good. That's unfortunate. Zormer is back in control. Yeah, Zormer is back in control here. Now there will be a fight at the red armor. His armor hits a direct. And now they're both fighting at this platform. This is usually where people will end up fighting over the red armor on that platform up there. There's armor's gonna get the best out of it. He gets the red armor and he knows his opponent is at the top yellow. He goes to fight, goes up the stairs, which is always dangerous running up those stairs. Oh, a nice spam rocket onto the 50 HP pickup. Zormer has great rail accuracy, 46%, and he's trying to go for the next red. Dev kills him, 513. Dev fighting him on the stairs at the upper yellow, kills Zormer again. This is looking better for Dev, but he has to close the gap faster. He needs to get more frags in less than three minutes. And getting killed there is really going to set him back, unless he gets a frag here. Yeah, that's going to set him back mm, by quite a bit. He needs more weapons, he needs a stack. His armor has no stack. Maybe Dev doesn't know this. He probably does. <laughs> and he does! He's going to contest the red! Dev takes so much damage in the process! His armor kills him yet again. And does the rocket jump off of red. To quickly go up towards upper yellow. And he misses one rocket, hits the other two, needs to hit the third, and he nails it. Rest in peace, Dev. And basically, rest in peace, Dev's chances of moving up into the finals. It's gonna be um, a hard two minute climb if he wants to get there. Oh, nice little movement there by his warmer. Never noticed that tiny gap you could dead air into. And his armor just gonna spam, hold that upper platform to get the easy peasy red armor. And Dev knows he just needs to push. He knows that he just needs to push. He does, and he does a lot of damage and gets the frag. And there's the lava! <laughs> oh no! Uh, poor Dev. Zormer another quick frag onto Dev. Zormer going for the lower yellow and Dev is taking more environmental damage and he ran runs out of One ammo. You hear the click sound from his LG. Unfortunate, but gets fragged again. And red is up. Mega taken by Dev. Zormer at the top. Dev on the yellow stairs. Jumps up the yellow stairs to contest his armor. Gets hit by a direct in the LG. Melts. 40 seconds left on the clock. Both players, lower armor, lower yellow. Congrats to his armor. Gonna be facing Messick. Well played to both players. That was um, a fun series.
Alrighty. Lower bracket final, Janky Ghost Smuggler versus Azorma. And we are going to start on everybody's favorite. Not really, but it is Simplicity T2. Here in Sorry, not T2. Oh, I always fuck up these names. First Blood goes to Azorma. Congratulations to him. Red Armor coming up right now. And wow, what a nice knockout from Azorma. Gonna send Janky looking for some armor, which he did pick up the yellow, and they are now completely synced up, which is not great for his armor. Oh, nice pickup of the yellow, and his armor did not expect him to come from there, and that means red is going to Janky. Is armor gonna spam it, and he's gonna grab the yellow. Yep, and it's still synced up. Holy shit, that's my Counter-Strike teammate from 2012. <laughs> Cheers, Zuloff, for the uh, Prime right there. And we continue. Again, lower bracket finals. This is Wilmer versus Janky. Janky is going to get his first frag on the board, and Janky is going to LG him again. 2-1. And a free red for the goat man. Tries a quick flick rocket when he goes in the portal. Misses. And is he going to take the jump pad? No. He grabs Mega really quick. Gets knocked up by the rocket. But still has a pretty decent stack. I believe he's going to stay in this room until red comes up again. For sure. Just kidding. He rushes. Red is up? I think he just gave it away. Yeah, his armor's gonna steal it right under his nose. But he gets a lot of LG damage in it. Trade. Oh! He gets caught out. Both players saying that they were gonna lose to each other and also agreed to make it a best of three. They did not want to play a best of five. So, faster series gonna happen and Janky in perfect position to take this red gets hit by nade spam grabs a red armor 100 and jumps through portal where Zormer was waiting but he gets the better of the exchange Janky's stack still looking better hits some good rockets now just needs to finish him traces him with the LG oh that was nice comes through the portal takes the jump pad at the perfect time Whoosh. 5-1 Janky Goat Smuggler, 3 minutes on the clock. Janky grabs Mega Health, excuse me. And this is game 1 of lower finals. Let me fix that. Oh, Janky has such little HP. He's grabbing the 25. Oh, gets hit by a spam rocket from his armor. Oh my goodness. That's gonna turn the game right there. That's really good for his armor. Allows him to take the red and the blue. He has a great sack. Now he wants to chase Janky. He needs to get a frag, at least one frag off of this. But his armor catches him out, gets a lot of LG damage, and Janky misses his. And Janky traces him perfectly while he jumps up the red. But his armor grabs the red and kills Janky in the red room. His armor gets the yellow as well as that earlier red. It's a close score. Oh, and he ties it up. 5-5. Five, five. Armor. It's a red armor. He's gotten four so far. Or seven so far. Four to Janky Goat Smuggler. Nice direct onto Janky. What's going on here? What's he gonna do? Going for red room. 
Exormer, 70 70. Dev takes it. Janky takes the jump pad, and Exormer gets a free red. In which case, Janky will be looking to get the yellow, but Exormer wants to contest this yellow. He doesn't want Janky to get it at all. He does end up getting it, however, and an LG fight is gonna happen. Whose ping is better? Exormer has the better ping. Oh, Azorma's gonna get the frag and the Mega, that's big. 6-5. Very close game. And boy, does my neck hurt. Oh, Zormer is going to literally run right into him. No collision issues, however. There's a reflex, um... I see sometimes. Zormer jumping around the red room, he goes for that oh, earlier me. push right as red spawns as we saw before, and he does get punished for it, which gives Janky the frag and the red. Janky gonna be happy with the situation he's in right now, try to keep Azormer from the yellow or punish him for trying to get it. A nice rocket jump! That's gonna let him kill Azormer and take the lead 7-6, and then the nice spam rocket! Oh my goodness! Azormer's so low and he's dead again! 8-6, two quick kills from Janky. That was so crucial. Oh my goodness, he's gonna get the red off of that. Spam rocket from Zormer, not gonna do much damage. Janky just wants to control these two armors, the red and the yellow. Wants to get the mega as well. And the perfect trace onto Zormer leaves him in the lead again. 9-6, solidifying his lead into 10-6. And another chain kill! He's spawn fragging him. Perfect timing on the red. Goes jump pad. Or er, lower mega. Oh, a direct hit and another direct hit. But it doesn't matter, his stack was so high. He'd been getting the armors and the megas. And he gets the mega. He gets another spawn kill. And he goes on to the yellow. Oh my goodness. He's gonna get that yellow. And he's chasing even more. First map getting exciting here. Janky is chaining kill after kill after kill. And he's gonna catch his armor right here on the stairs on the red. Rocket after rocket picks up the red and the kill. Yellow coming up in four. Janky lagging there, causing self damage unintended. And he's gonna jump. Really aggressive play along with the lag. Leaves him 9 HP. He picks up a 25 shard. Bubble, sorry. Jesus Christ. Zormer taking the jump pad, Two and remaining. Mega is available. Janky lagging more. 14-6 with only two minutes left. This first map looks pretty... Um, it looks pretty much like it is in Janky's hand, and it was not looking like that just a couple minutes ago. Two minutes left on the clock. Janky is just chasing him even more. Spam rockets at red. A nice rail, but Janky is caught up on rail position platform where he doesn't want to be perfect. Okay. Easy frag. And Janky should be able to get this next red in two seconds. But he's going to push instead. No, retreat to red. Pick up the yellow. Mobile of HP. LG fight. Doesn't pull the rail out until after. Tries to get a snap on him. Does not hit the rail. Rocket jump up to green. And drop down onto Mega Platform. He's waiting for him to go to yellow. Hits the 80 rail. Nice. Janky has such a good stack now. His armor cannot fight him for this red. And there's no time to close this gap. It's 1-0. For janky simplicity first map really nice play on simplicity from janky great cycling good aim and most importantly good positioning and he really punished with the chain um, spawn fragging that was good for him Good job to Janky on the first map. Cheers. Thank you.
thank you. Jumping straight into the second map of the lower bracket finals, Janky versus Azormer. Janky gets the red spawn, rocket launcher, and red armor. Does not have the lightning gun and a little bit of lag right there, possibly. Rocket fight intense. Azormer gets the first frag as well as that red spawn. He's got an LG, he's got a rocket. Probably wants to grab a rail and the next yellow to come up. Un unintentional self damage there. Picks up the red for free, however. Let me full screen. Oh, Jackie's really low and he's caught in the bottom yellow again. The second frag goes to the Zormer as well. Oh, that is such an unfortunate spawn, but he keeps hitting the rails. He hits a third rail from that horrible corner position. He forces his armor to run away. 12 HP and Janky or Zomer sees the, the mega health, grabs it, and he's safe. Oh my god. Is he going to get this third frag here? No, he's going for the red. Oh, the spot the spam rocket catches him! And he gets the red. It's looking like Zormer's map so far. Zormer's map, it's looking good for him. Janky is caught in the corner, bottom yellow, not good. He gets away. Zormer gets claimed at the top yellow, takes the telly up to red room. Red is not up for five seconds. Exorin, my boy. Enough LG damage to scare Janky away. Let's Zormer take another red. He's third this game. Janky's only gotten one. And Mega. One janky loses his mega. Uh, no, I guess. Maybe. Oh, perfect knock up and then shoots him right from the top. He jumps down and then rockets him on the ground. Oh my goodness. His armor with his fourth kill, 4 0. And oh my wow, if he was not there a second earlier. Zormer pick us up, picks up the two 25 HP shards. It's a perfect spam rocket. 100 HP to Janky's face. And Janky does not want to fight him right now. Oh, but he catches him from behind. He's going to die again. Clockwork. And it is looking good for Azormer, whom I keep calling Exormer. Zormer going through teleporter into the red room. There will be a fight. He gets a direct rocket to the face. Lots of LG damage. Oh my goodness, he comes a portal back and hits two rails in a row. Janky comes back, gets a kill, and the red. Now he is in control position. And he's gonna... He takes the chip damage, but he gets a really good trace onto his armor. He's out of rail ammo. He hears the ticking, switches to LG, and he chases. He's so close. 13 HP on Janky. What is he doing? Oh no. It's so fucking close. And fight at the red room. LG versus LG. Rocket is pulled out by Janky. He just needs to hit one more good rocket. LG finishes him. Janky is still looking decent for this game. Looking like he can come back into a position to take Pocket Infinity away from Mazormer. Only down by one map. And it is a best of three lower finals again. Because the players decided it would be that way. Janky throwing out some spam nades, and he's gonna give away the red? No, he's contesting the red. I thought Janky would give away that red, but he's chasing any lags while chasing. Fuck. Or actually, I think that's his mouse. I forget. Oof. Nice knock up. That knock up could not have been. Oh my god. More bad for Exormer. He gets caught in the lower yellow position and it's so much damage to his armor but he gets away alive maybe because janky sort of lets him he sees him go up the stairs he saw him oh the rail was so good 36 hp on goat his armor has to know he's low and janky 
can't eat a full rocket to the face right now. Now he can. He picks up the Mega. Janky again in a good position to take a fight right here, which he probably will be doing right here at the yellow armor stairs. But no. Both players gonna disengage and yell red goes to Janky. He rocket jumps over towards the yellow stairs and it gets his armor trapped in that low yellow position again. Jumps up to rail and he's going to chase. He goes in with the LG, starts rocketing him. His opponent is screaming from damage. He gets a direct rocket to the face. Janky needed to grab that 50 HP. He misses it and jumps back up. What kind of play is that? He's playing so aggressively, but he doesn't even die because of it. He's going to get that red, but 11 HP. He needs to grab the 50 HP. He gets the Mega. That is so good right now. It's 5.30 only on the clock. Janky has his time to come back. Only three points. Lots of LG damage on to Azormer, and the rocket's going to finish him. Janky still in a great position to come back. His opponent just spawned, takes him to 1 HP after grabbing the top yellow. Janky's going to grab red and die. Four minutes remaining. Azormer takes back the in control position for this map. He's going to want to fight the next red armor. He's going to want to chase right here. Do as much chip damage as he can. Janky's going to die here. He does. He gets a lower shotgun spawn. Grabs the mega, but all he has is a shotgun. But he's got good aim. They kill each other. 4-8. Izormer gets the better spawn. Actually, I don't think he's enjoying having only that rocket launcher right now from that spawn. Oh, he was waiting for him, but Azorma flicks the rocket. He's firmly in the lead now. Five point difference, grabs the top LG, grabs the top yellow, he drops immediately. Mega health, goes to Janky, Azorma has to run away. Plasma jump to rail, teleport to red room, he knows he wants to do the chip damage, misses the rail, really crucial to hit those. But. Right now, Azormer is feeling a bit comfortable with his score lead, but he really needs to build up a stack here, and he hits two direct rockets! He evens out the stack! Oh my goodness, he's able to claim that lower... Oh, he heard the telly perfectly and telegraphed it as well! If the rail would have killed him right there, he's spamming and the spam is gonna hit him! Why did he move back up there? He got killed because of it! Janky gets the kill on his armor because his armor was not respecting the spam. He had 9 HP. He walked up the stairs into that rocket spam, dies. Now Janky is in another position where he can come back in this game. He's in control again. He's gonna want to fight this red, takes a rocket to the face, a prediction rocket, nice, from his armor, but he's punishing his armor for this lower positioning. Misses a crucial rail. But he's going to get right off of it. Needs to get this kill. Gets the kill. And he needs to chain it into another one. Two minutes left. Misses the rail. He knows where his opponent is. Oh, unfortunate movement from Janky. Gets stuck in the lava. <sighs> Jesus, this one's close. Fighting on the red armor staircase. Azormer's going to retreat. Give Janky the red... Gonna give punish damage. There's only two ways to get out of the red room, but Azormer is gonna be the one that gets punished. He's running away to rail, top yellow, grabs top yellow, quickly strays down to the teleporter. Red room to bottom. LG fight. Jaggy chasing, but dies from chasing and also loses that red. That is so bad for Janky. And he suicides. Oh no. Janky's hope of winning just completely crushed in one 30 second span of, of events. Completely open game for him. Completely open game for him. Wow. What a turn of events. Holy shit.
Wait, was that the first map? If that was the first map, I'll be so happy. This is only the lower bracket finals. First reflex cup we've had in a year, at least. Unfortunately, Janky having those tech problems. Players have chosen HCM14, which we've seen several times today. It is considered a Kenya map. And if you're not familiar with the term, I think it originated in Quake Worlds. Kenya map being a map that is uh, obscure or rarely played, quote unquote. Kind of a passive start here. Zormer's sitting on 50 armor. Jackie's got a big stack, actually. Is there even a rail on this map? I actually have no clue. <laughs> uh. Alright. Jackie jumps right into a Moroccan versus LG fight and gets the frag. And he has a great stack still going on. Wish there was a pickup notifier. Like die back there. Oh, he gets put up into the air by that double jump. The fact that his armor got like fucking strafed around in the air right there made it so easy for Janky just to completely trace him with the lightning gun. Getting his second frag on the board, two to zero, and he's gonna engage him again at the ledge yellow. And red armor is up for the taking as of now gonna be a fight over at 27 HP on Janky. He's gonna get the kill anyway. Get the red as well. Easy peasy for him. Now 3-0. And don't forget the score is 1-1. This is going to be the last map of this series. Janky's still working with a good stack. Has the weapons he needs. Down. Nice kill by Janky. Getting his score up higher. Get higher, boy. Nice. Thought that was gonna direct for a second, but his armor gets a direct, but gets directed back in the face. Red goes to Janky. 5-0. Oh. 
Mega collected as well. That's a nice little collection jack he's working with. A huge stack. And he's gonna fight Zormer who's trapped in this corner. He is completely trapped, nowhere to go. The ledge yellow, he wants it. He's throwing nades, he needs to get this kill. Janky gets the kill, claims the ledge yellow. He should go straight for the red probably. Azormer's probably thinking the same thing. No, Azormer's not gonna be able to contest it. Really nice lead from Janky right now. Strong start. Gonna get another Mega. It's his fifth Mega this game, none picked up by Azormer. Janky's having the mouse issues, but the warmer's having picking up item issues. And Janky combos into another frag. The Zormer gets caught in that corner a second time. It's just, you can't let that happen. And he's going to contest him up top about the red. You're going to fight over the red as Zormer comes out on top of that one with 24 HP remaining and takes his prize of red armor and now they're doing a little bit of pillar humping a la arena world of warcraft as Ormer gets his second frag and collects the mega easy position to be in for a comeback anyone's game right now and as Ormer knows where he is he's listening to his headphones janky jumps down to fight him janky with the red as Ormer knows he has to run away some nice little strafes. He gets the shards, walking quietly. Just walking on the top platform here, waiting for the ledge yellow to spawn. Lockdown. Yellow ledge. Ledge yellow, there we go. He checks out red and finds his opponent. Nice. Third kill on the board for his warmer. And it immediately changes into another fight, which his warmer retreats with 11 HP. Very good disengagement from him. And let's Janky get that mega health. He's Azormer going for the green. Red comes up in seven seconds. We're gonna see how these players fight over this red. They're fighting on the staircase near the yellow. Azormer, too much self damage and dies twice in a row. Oh, that's not how he wanted his comeback to go. But it's five minutes in. Janky narrowly dodges a rocket. Lead yellow now being contested. It's not up, just spawns after Janky leaves the scene of the murder. And oh no, this woman wanted that yellow really badly. Janky is looking really good. His mouse dies for one second again. But he gets the pin on his armor. His armor just gets stuck on this. Geometry, I'm not sure what happened there. He gets pinned against the wall, I guess. And now he's looking for his opponent. He has a huge stack. Azormer. Oh, easy for Janky. 12 2. Four minutes left. Janky's mouse dying at another unfortunate time, but it literally doesn't matter to him. Like, Azormer is getting stuck in these corners, and Janky still has a stack. He tries to go for the green, he misses it, but he hits the direct and another rocket! Oh, Azormer! He hits the spam, and burst fire from Azormer is gonna give him a double kill using that CRT rule set burst gun. It's very strong. Holy shit. Okay, Azormer is in this corner again. Why? Okay, he gets stuck after taking the red, but hits good rockets! This is a rocket fight! Shotgun is out! They kill each other. Three minutes, 15 seconds left. A solid lead from Janky right now. Red is spawned right now. Goes to his armor, but he's not in a great position. However, he kills Janky and kind of catches him. Actually, it's Janky who caught him. Zormer, the mega goes to Janky. Zormer has to get out of there. He chases him to the teleporter, kills him with a burst gun. It's another burst gun kill. Janky's gonna continue his lead. Zormer is sitting on the red too early. Janky punishes him for it, sitting on that red. And he comes through the teleporter just to get eaten up by his lightning gun, takes some damage. Janky stays on the lower platform. Yellow comes up in five. He wants this yellow. Seven HP on Janky, gonna grab the 50 HP. Really nice. 
prediction from Janky. Gets good damage onto his armor. And they're gonna trade armors. He has really good LG. As we know, Janky Ghost Smuggler is a Kovacs in trainer player. And you can definitely tell from the way his lightning gun plays out. We have two minutes left on the board. Azormer's gonna have to double his score to have a chance of going to the finals. Oof! A weird fight with Janky going over his head. And can Azormer continue? Get another kill? Six frag difference right now. Red armor goes to Zormer. And a direct goes to Janky's face. Janky kills his warmer. He gets stuck in the red. Red armor is quite a death trap on this map, it seems. And we've definitely seen Janky been being punishing players for being in spots that are punishable. <laughs> One minute left, Zormer frags him at the yellow. Takes lightning gun, red goes to Janky, however. Janky with the red spawn, grabs Mega as well. He's gonna have a huge sack just off his spawn. And wow, one of them did find the railgun. Not sure who has more experience on this map, but it is Janky who is going to be taking it this, taking this lower bracket finals he is going to be moving on to play against messick one of the best reflex arena players and that's going to be an exciting matchup really great two games from his armor what a showing from both of them honestly that pocket infinity match was a lot of fun to watch good stuff from both of them Next up, Messick versus Janky Goat Smuggler.
co-casting yeah yeah, yeah 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 all right let me, uh, let me open the stream hold on all right let me get a warm welcome for uh theo this is theo right yep it's theo theo um how you doing man uh, i had fun in the journey I had fun great this was great. really fun um, i'm just I'm, I'm excited to see you uh this game i'm really excited to yeah, see uh, yeah 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 Jank versus Messick. The last series I really, really enjoyed. So hopefully this one should be just as good, hopefully. Mm-hmm. You meant streaming the whole thing? Yes, I've been streaming... Yeah, I streamed every match that I could. Damn. I'm really tired. And my voice... or my throat hurts. Yeah, you sound very dehydrated. You got water? Yeah, I'm drinking water. Actually, I need to grab another. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Okay, let me open up the stream. All right, I'll turn you. I on guess we're. Uh, I guess we're rotating to a different yeah. server now. Yeah, we're rotating to a different server. They're on uh, the Chicago one. I'm joining. Hold oh, they're they starting. Sh they should have oh, waited shit. out. They should have waited. Fuck. Oh, they're here. They're here. Okay, well, it's starting. Are you here? Yep. All right, we're starting. All right, Janky is dead. Messick takes first blood. Wow. Yeah, that was. That, that should have been Janky's, but uh, Messick had good aim there. Ooh, and another good rocket from Messick. This is. Going really well for Messick. But and now now he has red control, this is really good. Yeah, Messick has absolutely sick aim. That is one thing I will say about the kid. Like he's young, he's in his prime, he has great aim, he's a fast player. One thing Messick does well too is also like just a lot of map knowledge. And so Messick has good map knowledge on rockets and his LG and everything pretty much. So if even if he gets in disadvantage right now, he'll have something to pick him back up. Absolutely, yeah. Like he's probably he's probably like in the top five of people who've played the most reflex duels. In that and amount in that amount of map knowledge it's gonna give you it's gonna be so helpful. Yep, and he's he's contesting uh, Janky right now with uh, his LG aim, because Janky so far had um, probably the best LG aim in this tournament. Yeah. Um, but uh, Messick showing I can do that too. Yeah, I was super impressed with his LG last series. Like he was tracking really well, and he just had his crosshair in the right places at the right times. Is good. Oh, but this is. In low health right now. Uh, looks like uh, I'm switching to Messick. 
looks like a really low health LG. Yeah, Mesic on 15 HP gets railed by Janky through the little slot, and Janky's gonna spawn right there. Yeah. Or Mesic's gonna spawn right there, sorry. Janky oh, in the red room. Oh, now Janky has a uh, red control now, and so it's gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna only be a matter of time until Mesic gets hit by something, if Janky can lead it up. But right now they're they're just sitting, hiding from each other, kind of playing tag. Yeah, a bit of cat and mouse going on as Red is spawning in one second, and I don't yeah. think, yeah, Jenky's not going to contest this one. But he drops lower, and they're going to fight over Mega right now. LG versus LG. Mm -hmm. Yep, it looks like Mustic's losing that, but he got a nice uh, rail from Janky earlier, so this is- Oh! Give them both low. Oh, they're both low that right span. now. Guys, span! No armor. That was insane rocket spam. Yeah, that was a very good rocket spam. He knew exactly when to hit it. Oh, he uh, catches him out on the red platform. He's gonna do so much damage. Yep. Janky on 10 HP right now. Yep, and that's all he needs. He just needs to- Put him on that HP and then contest him once uh, he has whatever he needs. Messick stack really strong right now. Janky lower, Messick top. Red up in one. And Messick's not gonna go immediately for the red. He's gonna. Wow! Oh! So man. Janky self kills trying to rocket jump. You hate to see it. And then oh, Messick's gonna chain it up with another kill, and probably a third kill. If he hits the rocket, they kill each other! Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... This what is a turn tough of for events. Janky right now. There's such a... There's so much of a lead right now from, Jan uh, from Messick right now. Messick just doing so well right now. He's gonna get this right as well. And, and he knows that Messick's there, so he's gonna deny that, but... Oh, he, he gets a lot of damage. Yeah, he got a lot of damage right there. He might even die right here. Oh, the oh, rocket! Perfect. That is really unfortunate. Janky gets a, a well-needed frag onto Messick and gets red control as well. Messick gets trapped in that lower yellow area that has been a death trap in this tournament so far and overall. Oh yes, that area is a death trap in Pocket Infinity. Absolutely. It, it is one of the worst areas to be in if you are out of control. And it's really easy to get pinned at red as well. They're going to fight over it. Rocket bounces Ooh. them up. And Janky with the LG aim is just Kovac player versus Kovacs player. Both of these players <laughs> are showing such good LG. Yeah, very good LG. Uh, good rockets from uh, Janky there Absolutely. As well. Not to say they're bad with their projectiles, they're just really great yeah. at checking. Uh, I mean, for most of this tourney, uh, Janky uh, was showing to have uh, not as crazy rockets when he was fighting Exor. Uh, Exumer. Uh, and so... But it's showing, uh, he's showing some commitment at his, uh, mouse control, even though he's been having some complications. I'm gonna turn game sound down real quick. Uh, just so I can hear you better. Right now. It's kind of downtime right now. They're both kind of just spamming damage at each other, waiting for armor. Reds. Alright, seven Red's seconds for drop. Red. Janky spamming the staircase as usual. Yeah, Mustix either have to contest right now. Yep. Uh, he's, he's doing the same thing he does. He just traps the player in the red platform, fucks them with his LG, and Mustix leaves with 4050. Oh, this is really scary for Janky right now. He has no damage on Mustix. Oh! Good LG. Oh, perfect Ooh. spam rocket from Mustix. They were both very low in that fight. Janky's going down here. Uh, th that's just an uh, unfortunate fight right there with having your... Oh, Janky has LG! He pins him oh. for a bit! He oh. runs out of ammo, though! Oh. oh, no. Perfect rocket! Oh, nice. nice little flick from yeah, Janky. This is what he needs. Oh! No! He has to direct out to the red, and then he kills Messick! It's 13-9, and he spawns right next to him! They're fighting in the lower pit! Messick is really not low! 
Messick gets thought, killed again! I thought that, uh... I thought that, uh... Messick was gonna take that red right there. I was really close. This is just like before, Janky showing such an impressive comeback in this game. He has three minutes, he has the time to make the comeback. Messick gets this frag for the red. Oh yeah, this is really, really close right now, actually. Janky really oh, needs that kill. He had such good rocket and, uh, Oh, a uh, shit spawn. Oh, oh, oh but Janky gets it. Utilizes. Yeah, great oh, rail usage from the spawn. Oh, but that sucks. He had low HP going into that next fight. Uh, a little confusion. Yeah, that's unfortunate from Janky. Oh, but this is good damage from Janky right now. Yeah, two shotgun hits. Oh, but Messick's cheesing him. He cheesed him out of that <gasps> yellow. Messick with the rocket spam, punishing him at a lower yellow, and Messick drops again to shoot at him with that LG, picks up the top yellow. Taking teleporter. Oh, uh, but yeah, Messick's just doing more damage with LG right now, and it's kind of, uh, it's hurting Janky right now. Yeah, Messick. Janky actually hitting 36% LG, Messick at 31. But the yellows for Messick. Messick is playing his cycle so much more uh, efficiently. Yeah. Uh, and there's the one. He's just chaining one. him up now. A minute right. twenty left on the clock. Ooh, that was really bad damage for Janky. To get hit by that. That was a really good rail as well for Messick. I was in that's really impressive that he hit that. And this is just spawn frags right yeah, now. Yeah, the shotgun spawn is really unfortunate for Janky. Yeah, this is this is this is looking like a wrap right now. Messick. Yeah, unfortunately. 60 seconds, not gonna be yeah, he's gonna GG right there. GG's. That goes the first that was a good first map. Pocket infinity. Good first map, good first map. I'm going to turn chat off because it's bothering me. Oh my god. Yeah, this is just footsies right now. I'm definitely grabbing the water after this map. Hey, um, can you ask them if they want to switch servers after this map? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'll be right back. It's 1-0, Messi. Congrats. Co-caster is Theo Shark. Hmm? I was answering a chat question. What did they ask? Who's co-casting? I'll be right back. I'm grabbing a water. So dumb.
Well, glad they didn't start without me, and I am back. Alright, welcome back. Welcome back. What's going on? Are we still fucking with slots? I don't have chat enabled. <laughs> Holy shit, that was loud. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> god damn it. Alright, <laughs> there we go. There we are, there we are. Wait, oh, I feel like I've been to this map before, dude. Just cycling yeah, through the spectrum. Uh, uh, having a good old time. Simp Max, yep. I love that we have a map a map named Simp. Hate simplicity. I hate, hate the it. word or I used to like playing simplicity when I when I played duels. But then I guess I kinda got tired of it because it's so big and kinda rail oriented. I just like I just to run around on pocket, basically, that's all. I just don't like how uh, little control there is. It, it fucks with me so hard uh, that I have to hide around and shit. It's really weird for me. But, I don't know, I'll probably get better at it if I play it more. Wait, Korma. I forgot what that is. Hmm. Oh, it's an Indian mo a f meal. All right, here we go. All right, we're starting. We're starting. Simplicity, Messick versus Janky Goat Smuggler, and Messick is in the lead 1-0. This is a best of five. Messick's going to get the red spawn off the bat, grab rocket launcher, standard play. He's going to go to shotgun and then appear right behind Janky. Janky has a lot of good damage on Messick right now. Red stairs. Oh, but this red fight though. Oh, alright, yeah, that's good. Jinky wins that fight for red and nice knockoff. He's not getting red here. Yep. Good combo. But uh I'm trying to grab yellow there, not so easy. But uh he has a lot of good damage on Messick right now. He just needs LG arm uh ammo right now, which he does get. Uh, Messick doesn't know he's there. He's dealing a lot of damage on Messick. Oh, this is so much damage from Jank. Red is going... Yeah, Messick just stays there and spams with him and leaves. Uh, Janky was trying to get a kill off of that from his damage, but uh, he had no luck. Now he needs to capitalize on this yellow armor right now. And he's... He dies right here, yep. And then he gets yellow, unless yellow was already picked. Nah, yeah. Apologies, I don't have the uh, the armor thing on, so I'm not sure if uh, they picked it up or not. That's <laughs> okay, Red just came up, Messick gets. Yep, Red get picked up, and then there's Yellow. So both, both parties now have armor. It's just a matter of who does more damage. About equal. The other, well, Jank. Oh, but he, he, didn't, he didn't do enough, and he got killed by Messick there. Messick on his sprees right he's now. He's gonna get the three. Yeah, he knows where he's right there. Four. He's indicating oh my each goodness. spawn right now. He knows where he's going to be. He knows he the spawn so have, well. He didn't have the time to go to destroy him on red, so he's gonna play the safer. Yeah, and he's gonna grab this mega right now. Janky, kind of low on uh, am ammo on everything right now. He needs to get LG, which he does get. Messick not capitalizing on him, but he is getting a lot of good damage on Janky. Both are really low right now. Yeah, Janky going to get red off of that, and Messick picking up a green, and they might meet up again soon up top near the 50 HP shard. Gonna be teleporter dance coming. About equal yep. stacks. Messick lacking a little bit. LG fight. Armor's Messick needs to retreat. Soon, as Messick gets red right there. I'm so surprised oh, Messick didn't retreat. He oh, still never mind. He didn't grab red. I thought he grabbed red. That was my mistake. 
need to turn on the armor thing. Alright, Janky has a really good stack. 6-3 Messick right now. He was waiting for him behind the telly exit. Oh, Rocket's good. Yeah. Good shit for Messick. And then Messick, again, knowing where the spawns are, capitalizing on top of Janky right as he spawns. Now he gets red. He takes a little damage from Janky, spamming him. And he's gonna try to chase him from this yellow. Oh, oh nice direct on the bit mega of damage pit. From the rocket, yeah. 11, 10 seconds for red right now, and Janky's about to fight him for it. Janky in a good spot right now. Oh, but he takes a really bad rocket for that fight, and Messick's probably gonna take the red here. Yeah, that rocket to his face is definitely- Oh, he doesn't want to yeah. go for the red. He wants to get the frag and the yellow instead, and he's gonna get a yeah. chain frag off of it as well. Yes, yes, uh, that's the thing. That's the thing you can do in this game, is you don't grab armor in this game, yep. and you can just keep continually spawn frag like he's doing exactly. right now. Exactly. If you're not- if you're not getting killed, you don't need armor. You just exactly. get more kills. Exactly. And that's exactly that's what, what Messick is doing. doing right now. Yellow goes to Janky. Messick should grab red in one second. Yeah, red's about to. Red's now in possession. And now he's got good space. He's, he's also got Mega now. So he's got a lot of work on. Oh, hits a nice rail. Um. He didn't expect this him. Oh, oh, good yeah, combo. Good now fight. he's gonna spawn frag him. Yeah, this is a good fight now. Janky win. Essex getting so many frags right now. His spawn fragging oh, capabilities. Hits that, rocket. that air director would have been sick. Messick spawn so fragging cool. capabilities are so good. Oh, this is so much nice pin. Yeah, really nice LG pin from Janky. And I can't help but wonder if the 15, 20 ping difference between them wouldn't change these LG duels completely because Reflex is known for having, um, you know, a lot of change between 50 and say 80 ping. But here's an LG fight right now and Messick is gonna retreat with less HP, pick up the red and Janky wants to chase. Messick oh, jumps down. The rocket. This is really scary oh. right now because- Oh, the, uh, nice Janky rockets! Janky takes it. But it is still in the lead of Messick right now, so Janky has to have a huge comeback right now of a bunch of- Nice Pelly dancing. Nice teleporter dancing. Melee. Yep. Right now, Janky's getting all the frags, all the armor. Gets red right there. Oh, he wants to capitalize. He runs out of LG right now. Oh shit, they're both so low. Janky with the rocket, rocket. fade away! Good rocket, so good rocket. So this fantastic. Is what he needs right now. And Messick's chasing from the spawn. Janky gets the frag because of it. I think Messick was a bit over ambitious right there. Yeah, no, Messick was very ambitious in that fight there. And now Janky is getting a bunch of frags. It's almost becoming even right now. Yep, Janky's seeing the beginning of a nice comeback. If he can secure this frag as well. Yeah. Which yes, he does. It's really good for Janky. He's playing faster than Messick right and, now. And he's going to collect the Mega. He's going to push oh, him on this yellow. yellow. This yellow, though, he needs it. But he wants a rail gun. Janky needs a rail. He jumps oh, down. He did so much damage. He did so much damage to capitalize on it. He needs to grab this red right now, otherwise, Messick's fragging him. <gasps> Whoa! Janky! Janky! It's happening. This is insane. The man has gotten so many frags in a row. It's 13 to 15. He shouldn't contest this, but he does. He loses that fight, and then he's going to lose another. He this contested that yellow. This is the start of the beginning right now. Messick has so much control now. Oh, but that rocket did low, so when he's going to come into red right now, he's low on red right now. Even if he's got red. Oh, but he grabs a mega. Oh, oh yeah, and that's that's... That's the sad truth. Messick now has a lot of control right now on this fight. Oh. Yep. Not letting him pick it, pick up uh, yellow until he dies with it. And red's coming up soon as well. Yeah, he's really coming up the he stairs. Because he has no armor here. He has no armor in this fight. Unless he grabs it. Yeah, no. Unless he Messick self kills. Oh, that was such an unlucky turn of events for Messick. Oh, this is becoming even more unlucky. He's very low right now. 
Oh, oh a good Magic. rocket. Mastic is playing this beautifully right now. That was a really good rocket over yellow. Mastic's playing so much in. Okay, Janky can make a big play here. Yeah, if he can hit all the LG, oh, he almost hit himself with that. Nice! Yep, and there goes red to Janky right now. This is very close right now. It's a four Two frag one. difference. One minute left. Oh, but he gets yellow in this fight. But Janky had really good damage off of Messick. Such a close fight and a close stack right now. Oh, but Red's about to spawn in eight seconds. If this fight is crucial, Messick hits the rocket, takes Janky down. There's only a minute and a half left for a five kill difference. Janky rushes in. He knows here. that he has to stop him from the Red. He knows that he has to stop Messick from increasing his lead. He has to get these four kills fast. Ooh, this is a really close fight. He exits out. There's not much Janky can do right now. Oh, but that's good rocket damage, oh. but unfortunately he was very low coming into that fight. Oh, he's waiting for red right now. Oh, but this is really bad for him. He's just walking in, picking what he owns and he definitely owns him on this map. Yeah, Messick is just moving around the map with such confidence and grace. Great movement, great pickup in cycles. Yeah, he's just out cycling Janky, but Janky is showing a lot of work for sure. Not to downplay Janky at all. Oh yes, but, I've been definitely impressed with him. Yes, Ooh, and this is good LG work. damage. He's gonna try to chase him with it. Red's up. He's just trying to chase him. He needs to oh! One minute, dude! Shit. Oh, oh, and they got by. Oh, Messick finally dies after the pistol. That was so damn close, man. I'm so surprised from that rocket not killing. That was so close. Oof. Alright, and that is... 2-0. To zero and last map if Janky cannot uh, pull this through. Last map being so turny too. Yep, that is what the players picked. Hopefully we get to see five maps. I got my fingers crossed. Yeah, if, if I'm I, I'm thinking I don't know how Messick is on uh, so turny, but uh, I think um so turny for um. For Janky, he's kind of warmed up on it and did really well against uh, me and his game. So let's see if that happens again. Yeah, a lot of it will definitely come down to which player has played the map most, among a lot of other factors. Yes. One thing, uh, one thing that's going to determine this game is the cycles. Who controls what cycle from red? Because uh, the one thing is, is red's going to be the determining factor of who does well in this. And both players yeah, readied up now. It. Let's see Five, if Janky can turn four, it into a 2-1. Two, one. Two, oh, and it's so 2-3. So 2-2, three. So three. Two, two, sorry. Rail spawn for Janky. He hits the first, loses the second. Oh, Shotgun oh, kill oh. for Messick for first frag. Unfortunate spawn for Janky there. Uh, uh, he hits uh, Mega, but this is way too late right now. Oh, but he's doing so much Janky. damage there. Nice rail from Janky. Secures his first kill. Yeah, right now. Oh, uh, that spam's gonna hit him. Yeah, right now. Nice uh, rail. Janky. Oh, but that that there was too much damage going into that fight, and he couldn't ca uh, be able to live with Messick chasing him like that. Yeah, he's got a monster um, shotgun. Uh, Mega's up right now. Messick's gonna go chase it, it looks like. He has position, uh, uh control for it. But I guess Messick wants to kill him right now. Yeah, Messick chasing for this frag. Nice. And he's gonna get it. I don't even know where Mega is. Mega is on right side of Genki. Gotcha. Of these players. Yeah, and so, right now, uh, Messick's gonna- Oh, uh, he traps him in the- yeah, Messick has so much control right now with the LG, and he's just trapping him. And this is he's such a strong map for the LG to be utilized as well. You see oh, all yeah. these wide open spaces and pillars. 
Yeah, so this is a good LG and rail map. Yes, definitely yeah. a good rail map for sure. Very good. Uh, Mega is about to spawn in five seconds. Uh, Janky kind of waiting around. He's kind of like sneaking around Messick right now, making sure that uh, he doesn't die so he can pick up his armor. This is what he was looking for. And this fight, Messick's really low. And Janky oh, was he... chasing. Yeah, yeah. He hears him pick up the yellow, waits for him to come through, gets hit by the LG into rail combo. And yeah. he solidifies his lead. It looks less oh, close now. And Jakey picked up the Mega right there, and he still lost. And then lost that fight again as he respawned. Yeah, just really good spawn fragging from Messick now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But and he needs to be on right his now. back foot. He dies there, yeah. I wonder what uh, Messick was thinking there when uh, he was low waiting for something. I guess he was waiting for red, but now he's lost control a little bit. I guess he assumed that Janky didn't know where he was, maybe? Not sure. Mm -hmm. Janky kind of lost this control now because uh, he doesn't have good armor, and Messick's over near uh, yellow to red, so we'll see what happens, but... Janky out of LG yeah. ammo. Yeah, this is really bad for Janky right now because uh, he, he has picked to up the cells. red. He has to pick up this red right now. Red's up. I guess he was waiting to delay it to make sure that uh that it doesn't sync up with the yellow mm, or yeah. maybe not. <laughs> I, don't know. That I didn't see the yellow spawns. Yeah. Oh, but that was so good rockets from Messick. Eleven yellow pickups from Messick so far. Twelve. No, and only two on the board yeah. for Janky. That's going to make a huge difference in these fights where the stack is going to make up that difference. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Messick just knows this map inside out. Yeah, there's a good chance that Messick has played this map a lot more than Janky. I'm not sure. Possible. But it is a 2-0 lead for Messick leading into the third map of Grand Finals, and now he's spawn fragging the shit out of him. Oh, that LG it was so good for Messick, he just corner tipped him there. Yeah, Messick and mouse control go together hand in hand. Yeah, Messick is quite insane at the game. Gonna Some take self damage yellow. to get the yellow. Yep. Uh, Mega spawns and he takes that, capitalizes. Uh, Janky... Not really. He's waiting for red, but he kind of gave it to Messick right now, and Messick holding with a lot of armor right now. So there's not much uh, Janky could do besides hide around. Wait yeah, for I'm him. gonna watch. Yeah. I'm gonna Doesn't watch really how Janky know. is ratting right now. <laughs> ratting. <laughs> yeah, right now. Oh, this is really good oh, damage. Okay, good. But the, the only bad thing is, is there's not really much armor for Janky right now. Messick's kind of taking everything. Oh, oh but that was really good damage. That's a nice combo. LG. Yeah, good combos. LG into uh, rail. But Messick yeah. picks up the yellow, extends his stack, and yeah, Janky does not I'm have talking. a stack. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And He can't win this fight right? now. He can't win yeah. that fight due to the stack. Yep. Yeah, Janky... just can... Janky's showing how much he doesn't know the map right now because uh, he's, he doesn't really have a stack right now. And the reason that's too bad is because it's the last map of, of the finals, you know? Yeah, this it, it definitely is uh, kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, music. something we can agree on, they're definitely two great players in both finals. Oh, no, no, no. Simplicity and... Um, in Pocket Infinity, yeah, they were really close. Yeah. Yeah, no, those were very uh, interesting maps to uh, watch, uh, for sure. For yeah, sure. like until the seven minute mark of both of them, I, I wasn't sure who was going to win. Maybe eight minute mark, who knows. Yeah, for... Yeah. Both were very even at that middle ground, but then Messick kind of popping off as he kind of does all the time. Nice rails for Messick. Oh, yeah, nice hitting game. nice rails. 11 ammo. Gets the frag. And Messick's either gonna glide around to this Mega or Red next. Gets a kill before doing so. He should know that Red's up. Grabs it. And the Mega is picked up at the very same time by Janky. He knows this yellow is up and he peeks and catches him. He was being silent. Yeah. He did a lot of damage to Janky. 
There's too much damage on uh, Janky right now, and oh, but that was a really good rail, and maybe he might have uh, the, the damage to be able to go into this. Oh, he gets I, pinned uh, perfectly on the yellow. That was so unfortunate. Yeah, poor timing. Really Essex are really low right now as well. He just he's but, just gonna collect shards. Yep. He's gonna collect that. But uh, help. Mega and, uh, is up Janky. now. See if Janky either player kind of just has to run away right now because he Three doesn't have any control. Me. Yeah, he only has an LG and a rail. Two good items, but he's now fighting him with LG. Messi disengages, but Jaggy catches him in the back and rails him to death. Yeah, that was a lot of damage from Janky, but he's really low right yeah, now. Yeah, Janky showing up with zero stack. But he knows he needs to start pushing, even if it's with these really fragile stags like 1 HP he just had. But he needs to push Messick. There's not even three minutes left on the board. And he does! Oh. Well, he doesn't push him, he gets a nice rail pick. Nice rails from both of these players, honestly. Messick waiting for him to TB through, smart. He's right next to him. Oh, but he doesn't know. And he wants us to... Mega. Ooh, Janky definitely in control, oh, but no. his mouse fucks up. Oh, no. That messes up his in control position. Come on! No! Holy oh. shit. That mouse yeah. fuck up will definitely tilt you, man. Yeah, this is this is just a determining factor from this game. Yeah, I've seen his mouse freeze a lot during the series. Or during the tournament, sorry. Mm, yes, it's, it's not a series yet. <laughs> we have to wait until next week. Yeah, possibly. Hopefully. That would be cool. Yeah, I know Blazer was talking about having this extended uh, for another week. Having it bigger. So, he's just looking to have more CPM players play. But even if we didn't get the best of the best, we still got J Janky and Messick in Grand Finals. This was... A really good match to watch. Yep, and yeah, it was a fantastic series. And watching players like Azormer and Sharkosity, and I mean, jeez, who? What other really good players showed up? I mean, Azormer and Sharkosity are definitely fun to watch. Good NA players. Yes, yes, yes. A lot and of good players. It looks like we will be shortly closing out this grand finals with a quick 3-0. Messick definitely with the map knowledge on this one for sure. With Pocket LG Infinity. Much LG pressure yeah. from Messick really. Like, it really shows how strong Messick's LG is in this game. Yeah, Kid has incredible aim, I've said it. Definitely. Uh oh. <laughs> and he's looking to try to win this fight. With what He's 360! Oh no! The 360 no scopes were not successful! Not successful. Yeah, Messick. okay, apparently Messick has spammed this map. So I, Janky, coming in not knowing this map, really close first two maps, it was a great grand finals. Congratulations to Messick, winning yet another AFPS tournament. Yeah, congrats to Messick, man. Yep, it was a great showing. Yeah, it was really fun. This tournament was really fun. Unfortunately, we wish to see more people come by because a lot of people DQ'd out of the uh, tournament. But, yeah, uh, there were some fake signups and uh, a few people can show, but uh, I'm definitely impressed that like 15 people showed up to a Reflex tournament because this amount of people has not touched Reflex in quite a while. Yes, uh, I I was a very uh, recent player to join the scene, so. Yep, that was me in uh, 2017, I think. Now I just chill on Discord <laughs> instead of playing. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna play my outro tune. Thank you to Blazo for hosting. Thank you to Theo for doing co-casting for yeah. Grand Finals. Yeah, 
anytime. Yeah, yeah, and that was, that, was, that was really fun to watch. Yeah, it was really fun to play in as well. Yeah, great series. Maybe I'll enter next time just for the fun. Yes, Maybe not. Yes. Uh, but also thank you to um, Skytune for making one of the graphics for the stream. Let's see. Anyone else? Thanks to So for making the map. Thanks to to Ace for making two of the maps. Thanks for Hoyt for making the map for HDM 14. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that was his map, Hoyt's map. Yep. All right. I hope Messick enjoys his 25 Canadian. <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the outro tune for the stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. And congratulations to David Messick, the Diabotical Pro, Quick Champions Pro. Is that his name, David? Yeah, secret info though, don't tell anyone. Oh, All right, th thanks everyone. This is it. Peace. Man, nice meeting you. Hey, ski boy. Yeah. Glad yeah. I could help. Yeah, you too, Theo. Thanks for the help, bruv. Yeah, <laughs> how you doing right now? Are you, you standing good? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. I'm. I'm definitely just. I'm gonna like smoke and chill out. I'm. My voice is kind of a. Yeah, you need to make sure to drink that water, man. Chill out. Are you listening to some tunes later on? Yeah, I've been playing in like a mixture of my own tunes and some other tunes on stream. Uh, Your own but... tunes? You make music? Yes, but the caveat is that I used to know Ableton seven years ago, and then I stopped, and now I'm like just relearning it completely over again. Mm, I see. Oh, I didn't know. This Don't forget started. to follow. <laughs> I was just gonna like tell. Thanks for following Theo. <laughs> Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, follow Twitter, and I'll link the Discord for my stream. You got a Twitter? Yo, yo, follow me, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll really follow you, brother, of course. Thank you. And if you feel like getting stream notifications, here you go. Let me play this outro. Yeah, I should stream this game as well. Zendon Production. Done know already. Right here, I'm sorry. I know that system, so I ain't pissed. Care in the world. That's why I accept the game for what it is. And I'm looking for my own success, not quiz. I've been setting pace since man had a bee whiz. I ain't got school, then what are these bars? A reflection of all of my pain and scars. I could talk about more than money, drugs and cars. And I like to talk to women who party in the clubs and the bars. Yeah, that was really cool to really watch. Yeah, it, it's fun to watch the matches, like, live, and it's fun to get to cast them. Yeah, I, uh, I play, I, I usually played, uh, in, uh, Highlander competitive in TF2. Oh, yeah, I played TF2 when I was really young, but I didn't, like, get into it. I, I like, played Counter-Strike when I got into high school, and then I moved to Dota. Mmm, I, I see. Yeah, I just... I just stick to TF2. I should have played this game when uh when I was around. I didn't know about it. I didn't really. I wasn't really into any Quake games uh, uh by uh this game's uh, beginnings. Kind of wish I was around. It looks really fun. Yeah. Um. I had a lot of fun when I played it. It was also very like stress inducing, so I kind of just <laughs> stopped. <laughs> but for the people that can handle it, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. I mean, the movement just alone is really, really fun to mess around with. Yeah, the one thing, uh, the one thing that got me more into the game is the fact that I like to grind more uh, out of the other game I play because uh, I uh, recently uh, got into Invite Highlander, which is the top. Oh, yeah, dip. I remember ESCA used to do. They used to do open an invite for TFT for a long time. Back when I was playing Counter Strike. Yep. And so. But they dropped it like years ago, I think. I don't remember. GGC? No, uh, ESCA dropped uh, TFT. Mm -hmm. Um. I think it's like Prem now.